Felicitations, my family of fledglings and ghosts. It's so good to see you. Welcome to this groove. Welcome to this groove. <laughs> Miss three audio, the soundscape, the ambiance, and especially the soundtrack. Slap. It's good stuff. I appreciate this game. Appreciate this game's art style. I appreciate a lot of this game's puzzles. The lore is good. It's really interesting. It's going down the rabbit hole I wanted it to, which is um, maybe Atris is a bad creator. <laughs> maybe he should start an AITA Reddit thread. Because it seems like he's got a bad father, so says Atrus. He's got two bad sons, so says Atrus. He seems to forget his creations and leave them to fend for themselves, even in the case of really bad circumstances for the people. Or he generates a solution for them and then doesn't properly uh, teach their people how to move toward that solution gracefully. Maybe Atrus is the bad guy. And this, this story is following exactly what I wanted it to. Questioning Atris. I'm not cut up, but I haven't had time. I keep working at it and then more streams happen. And I don't want to keep missing them. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. I understand. Uh, well, the good news is, is uh, the way this game is set up is a little bit different than Riven and a lot closer to Mist 1, where you have like your Nexus world and then you have your offshoot books that take you to different ages. And we just finished the three ages for the books that we've found on the Nexus world. Um, so we are leaving the last of those three and we're coming back to the main world, Jananan, uh, with clues in hand. And we're going to try to use those clues. So uh, each of those experiences, while endemic to the game, also don't necessarily um, need to be seen except each one adds a little bit more lore to our our gentleman captor Savidro, who believes he's captured atris but instead atris sent us in atris's place another strike against atris he doesn't want to face this guy Savidro alone so he sent mist man to do it for him <laughs> so uh we we went off and did all the trials and Savidro left all these recorded messages talking at Atris, thinking he's caught Atris. And uh, the Lord just basically says he comes from one of the books Atris wrote. And Atris abandoned his people and let most of them die. And Saavedra wants revenge. Yeah. Mm. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. I made it an hour into your last missed stream. Oh, okay. Were you? Did you did you chat or were you lurking? I can't remember. A week ago already. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. I have a long day tomorrow too. <laughs> but I'm so excited to play this game uh, that I don't care that I will be up late tonight. Via YouTube. Oh, excellent. Wunderbar. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate everybody who's giving me the YouTube watch hours. I watch the watch hours. To, uh, to see how we're doing. <laughs> and um, since the beginning of 2024, since we've been doing triple streaming and since I've been putting all the VODs in as a, uh, a way to track and watch the whole bit of content like all in one go, you just hit play at the beginning of the playlist. It just loads video after video after video. Um, I'm noticing that the watch hours are moving consummate toward me being repartnered again, which is, it's so awesome. I, I missed being a YouTube partner. Uh, being a Twitch affiliate is good. I just had my roots originally in YouTube. It feels like my my live stream uh, world now merging with my YouTube VOD recorded world is like the best thing. And, um, and I do still want to get back to pre-recorded, but that may have to wait until the kiddos start school, uh, which is coming all too fast because this this year is moving really fast for me it's almost halfway done and um and then 
the kiddos being in school might mean that I get all sorts of flexibility that I didn't have before. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. So you're getting those watch hours, especially when I forget my place and watch some bits more than once. Hey, what can I say? Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, sorry, I have very, very fluffy long hair today, and I'm just um, in preen mode. But uh, yeah, it's it's good. I I might be growing it out or chopping it next before next week's streams. I don't know. My fate is up in the air. Robot, hello and welcome back. I loved your uh, Nickelback um, <laughs> comment yesterday. <laughs> did you finish your... Sh oh, you s and you said, yeah. Did you finish your shrine to Nickelback slash the vegan god? Um, are Nickelback vegan? Are the band members of Nickelback vegan people? I wonder. It is not finished. There is so much. When... When I say we've embarked on a mega project in that game, I mean it is mega. Not only am I building this mansion, which no one in stream has guessed what it is. Only one person in our sort of greater community has guessed off stream. Um, and her guess made somebody else guess right too, but they heard her guess at first. Um, but no one, no one in chat has guessed what it is. So I'm kind of curious if somebody will. But yeah, it still needs... I still haven't finished building all the walls and floors and ceilings for everything, especially in the attic. It needs lighting. It needs furniture. I just finished the windows, but I might change one of the walls because one of the windows looks funny. And now I feel like I need to change the wall because of it. Um, lots and lots of furniture then i need to do the whole outside like it needs a facade work because the the wall that i use doesn't look good without a facade i think it looks really sweaty and gross and then i need to do like the landscaping of the court of the yard around it ah, just, there's a lot there's a lot to do <sighs> yeah uh doubt it but we can pretend are you making a hotel it is not a hotel yeah but uh but it is it is famous in some circles right okay let's go back to jenanin shall we and get this show on the road i have a feeling we're going back into the top of the tower in the middle with my three clues so that's going to be my first destination tonight is let's pop in and check by the way I need to take something off of this while we're doing... Oh, look at that. It's like focusing in on the center tower, too, for some reason. For some reason. Let me take this thing off because it has happened right in my UI right there. That dono in the bottom left corner is Vamoose. And the reason is Vamoose is because it has been filled before um, the, the cutover in mid-April that I thought was going to fill it. Uh, somebody in a previous stream this week has filled the rest of the donation. That means that uh, this piece that is now too small to see will be replaced by something um, absolutely great. I think it's going to be uh, really cool. I'm super stoked. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. Blood Moon Menagerie is, uh, I think, going to be a huge success in 2024. Uh, they're already booking new shows in new locations with new marketplaces, as well as having just launched Blood Moon Menagerie Endangerment. Hello. Blood Moon Menagerie.com. I'm going to do it like this. Is this spelled right? Does this look like it's spelled right? I think that's spelled right. I'm going to do it in two chats. It's going to pop up twice on my stream. That's okay. There and there. Yeah. Oh, it didn't pop up on the other one. Cool. Or it's delayed. Either way. Ah, there it goes. It's twice. Uh, yeah. Definitely check out that website if you're into uh, earrings, necklaces, jewelry that's custom made, um, sourced with care, and can accommodate a variety of different types of ears, whether you have gauges, sensitivity to certain metals, uh, just need clip-ons because you don't have piercings at all, and uh, and other stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. I, I am proud of Oz's work in that regard. It's good stuff. 
Uh, are you making H.H. H. Holmes Murder Hotel? No. I don't know. I don't know about that. It sounds cool. I'd be curious to look it up. I like murder hotels and murder mysteries and that sort of stuff. It's up my alley. When I was a kid, I used to just like anything that was kind of like dark and, and elder, like Poe and um, <laughs> things of that nature. Is that a sponsor? Uh, Oz does not sponsor me. No, no. I just happen to like their uh, work and I happen to be married to the uh, creator of the earrings and all that. So, you know, if you generate revenue for Blood Moon Menagerie, actually, I don't see a penny. <laughs> we have everything in divided, separated accounts so that um, what what is earned in any of my brands gets reinvested back in my brands. That's how we got lights. That's how we got a uh, nice microphone, boom arm and the whole shebang and all that sort of stuff. Everything is funded and endemic to my show. And the same thing with Oz, uh, although she does do some cross contamination between her uh, live streams and content creation and all that, and also the earring sales. So some money from Twitch goes into earrings, some money from earrings goes into Twitch and stuff. Yeah, it's a, uh, you're sleeping with your sponsor. I can't, I don't see a dime. We can't use the word sponsor. If I don't see a dime of the, of the money, yeah. Or maybe she's just really bad sponsor. <laughs> hey, what's up? Gray, hello, welcome back. Hi, hi, hi. Did you watch Netflix Fall of House? Oh, I, I, I haven't yet. And I have to tell you why. I, can, I have to, I need to get serious with you. Can we game for a second? Um, so I'm a, I'm a multi-hyphenate, right? I'm like a, a person who wears many hats. I do a lot of different things for work. And not all of them are... Um, come to fruition in other words like i try a lot of stuff and i see what happens you know what i mean um hello there i may have missed last stream oh that's all right welcome back beast you are my dad you're my dad Wookie, Wookie, Wookie. oz has come to ruin everyone's brain <laughs> how many hats uh more hats than i can count yeah more hats than i can count honestly Got the extra four hours of sleep. Oh, that is based AF. I'm so jealous of your lots of sleep. Good job. Okay, Gray. So I need to tell you. I need to tell all of you. And that's why I closed the game for a hot second. Why I haven't watched Netflix follow the House of Usher. I have a suspicion. And this is just a theory. And it's not a conspiracy theory. Because if somebody shows me hard facts that this was absolutely not the case... I'll believe them. But right now, because of the way that the facts are lined up, I have this hunch, and it's a it's a bad hunch. I have a bad story to share with you. Yeah. But um, but we're gonna try to find a silver lining. So in addition to content creation, just as like a general title, uh, I do other types of content creation that are not um discoverable yet. I got rid of my Netflix subscription. Is that how you got your sleep? Or is that why you haven't watched Fall of the House of Usher? <laughs> Look up Obscurest Vinyl. I will have to do that maybe after the story. Or you all can do that. <laughs> if it's not pertinent to my stream, then I might wait till after stream. Why I haven't watched? Got it. Got it. So um, the reason why I haven't watched the show is because besides doing live streaming, besides doing VODs, besides getting on other social media, scripting for a, an eventual TikTok debut in my near future, uh, besides working on the concept for an album of music that will drop on Spotify and other places with a few other artists, including Oz, um, I also am part of a script writing um we're not even an llc but we're just sort of like a troop or a group that has put ourselves together and created something absolutely fantastic with a uh strong amount of backing 
um, lots of research. Uh, we have a published author who is doing the bulk of the grunt work and we have QA and we have uh, like actors in testing. We've done script readings. This is legit. This is like a, a, a big sort of thing. And because it got so much traction in its early stages, we decided that we would try to find, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just unusual forms of publishing, or what's the word I'm looking for? Production costs, funding, and all that sort of thing. A lot of people will you know, go to studios and pitch themselves or try to find an agency and pray that the agency isn't full of their type of work and they'll take a chance on somebody they, they don't know. And what we ended up doing was we entered a few different contests for screenplay writing in which the, the awards, if you should happen to win, can be ins in the industry. If you don't already have ins in the industry, maybe you're just better than everybody else's script. And you, you actually have to be better than everybody else's script to, to uh, imagine that you're going to enter these type of contests, right? There's probably like somewhere between five and 8,000 entries per contest. And you have to percolate to the top through several different rounds. And only maybe the top two get something that would be considered placement with an agency. Uh, even though there might be like three prizes. The thir third one's usually some sort of consolation. Right? Um, wait, could you ban me and then unban me? Does it work like that? I, I haven't banned in um, YouTube. So I'm a little bit scared to do it and then... Uh, have your name like completely disappear and, and not know how to unban you. So I, I'd rather not unless I really like needed to ban you for some reason. <laughs> I don't think I would enter this contest. I'm scared. So we were confident. We were confident. And so we entered uh, a contest and we, we didn't place. But we we're so confident and we we're, we're still working on these things. It's, you know, this is a group of people, a big endeavor. So this isn't just like one person's kind of idea and their mom said that they really thought it was a cute idea. And so they went for it and they paid, you know, an entry fee and they tried this out. Like we really, really went. Nice model in the background. That is a statue. It is, it is a sculpted statue. <laughs> Not a model. Um, the, so we, we entered a third contest after two, we didn't, didn't really pan out into anything. And this third one, because we were so confident, we kept doing it. This third one, we got placement. We got the number two slot. We were agency placed. We were partnered with an agency and the agency went, went through our work, uh, QA'd it basically what's the word i'm looking for sanitized it for sale for production companies and then um spread its tentacles out and do does what agencies do it shopped us basically you know they went to all of their different teams and said hey what do you think about this idea here's our concept here's the thing um these are the the, the talent behind it you know what do you think about them the whole shebang you know it's very exposing but at the same time very gratifying to know that the hard work that you put in is not just validated over thousands of competitors in a contest but also validated by an agency saying yeah we're actually going to put out feelers and and put money into you know work and time and connections we'll put our name on the line for you to try to get this working uh it's a green screen this is not a green screen yeah this absolutely um real Authentic stuff back here. The statue's a little far. That's that's, but it's back there. I promise. Um, also, Flapjack. I like your um, screen name, by the way. I'm not confident. My morale stays at ten percent. Oh, I mean, hey, if you work on something and you really love it, share it, and then see maybe that maybe other people's opinions of you will help your um, your morale. 
David Alexander, long time no see. Yay, hard work. I feel like I missed much of the story, but I feel like congrats are in order for something. No, this is actually a bad story. I apologize. You came into a tragic story, which is why I actually had the game open and then I closed it to talk about this game. Somebody asked me if I had uh, watched Fall of the House of Usher. Uh, and, I, and I'm explaining why I haven't. <laughs> prove that it isn't a green screen. I don't know how to prove that. I mean, I could get up, but I'm really lazy right now. You'll just have to believe me. I mean, you could see that my shadow is being cast on the wall behind me, right? Like, I could turn off the lights behind me. That's got to be proof. There. Do it that way. Oh, no. Did they steal it? So, yeah. The the basis of our story was not the, uh, the fall of the House of Usher. I think... Damien is an AI generated person, but the background is real. Yeah. David Alexander has my number. That is what I am. I'm all chat GPT and VTube. I'm just a really high density pixel VTube, dude. Stop using CGI. No, you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, our concept, and I think you're going to put two and two together uh, like we did. Our concept was we we researched every work that Edgar Allan Poe has ever written in his entire life. Even the bad detective stories, all the way down to the poetry, even the sea, like the sea based nautical stuff that he worked on that a lot of people don't know about. We did everything. And then we worked really hard to create something of a cohesive world that gathered up every single Poe work we could, even if it was just kind of like a reference or people that were performing a play on stage to get some, to sneak some of them in like the golden scarabs in there and telltale and the cask. And like we snuck references at least to everything. We got the cat, we got the, the actual house um, of Usher, like the whole shebang. It's all in there. It's this really like dark and interesting uh, dive into uh, two guys who are working together to try to solve murder mysteries in, you know, 1800s Boston. And one of them happens to be Roderick Usher. And so him and his partner are working together and, uh, and you know, doing sort of a, a grim so story that season by season devolves into madness, like so many people devolve into madness, right? And we had the the first the the pilot and the first ten episodes of season one, and then we had uh, basically framework for uh, advancing all of that, and that was all part of the contest entry stuff. So somewhere in either the shopping, the contest entry, which does put our stuff out in the public eye, like you can look up these contests, you can find our framework stuff online, published well before House of Azure, like out there it's out there it's it's verifiable the timeline is verifiable this all happened um just pre-pandemic and into the pandemic so like that's that's where things went and um should flanagan mike mike flanagan that's the guy's name right uh should he uh have stumbled across it and changed enough of the details so that his legal team because presumably he has one his legal team was like yeah this is kosher you're smooth you're good you've you've got your own idea based on poe which poe is in you know the um commons uh, copyright common law uh then they could green light him and then he could go okay cool i'm just gonna i'm gonna run with this idea and i'm gonna make it you know just enough different that it's mine yeah hey chat gpt can you generate me a tragic story i did although it happened several years ago if i follow you then unfollow would i get free bobbles i don't think twitch works that way but you can give it a shot um what are you talking about anyway i'm talking about so i'm on a uh, i i'm on i'm still on a a writing team that created a pan at Allan Poe. Hey, welcome back, beast. <laughs> yeah, uh, on a script writing team that created a pan at Allan Poe universe that incorporated all of his works into a dark macabre story 
and then while we were getting shopped through an agency that represents our work we saw um mike flanagan's work come up on netflix which is basically using the same concept that we used to world build a slightly different story that's that's different from ours we can't sue we're not we don't have the means to do litigate litigation is tens of thousands of dollars just in discovery alone so like to go in and think we have a case when we're pretty sure his legal team made sure that they did everything that they could to keep themselves safe um we are backing out we are now shopping for graphic novel artistry so if anybody happens to be or know somebody who's into graphic novels um hit me up cyberstalk me damienhomie.com find a way to contact me and tell me hey i am that artist here's my work or hey i know this artist and they're looking for work if they're super busy you know whatever that's fine but um we're looking to pivot away from netflix or streaming platforms and pivot away from this being a a, a, a platform-based thing and into a graphic novel series perhaps I wanted to get in the world of graphic novels. I have a space opera in a uh, planning phase right now. Uh, but if we can prove that we can do really good things in the graphic novel space with this Poe project, then, um, then that might pave the way to make the space opera project move forward even faster. Yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at. That's a little unnerving. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh, there you go. Oz can confirm that I am um, AI generated. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. That's what happened. That's why I haven't watched the show is because I'm a little bit miffed at Flanagan and I've watched other works of his. I like his style to a degree. Um, I do feel like some of it is kind of... he. He writes spooky like M. Night Shyamalan writes spooky, i.e. it's like family fun sort of stuff. It's dark, it's interpersonal stuff, but it's not like, it's not as creepy or macabre as I would like. And we wanted to take it a lot further. And so it really bums me out that he did something in the same space that we were going to do, but maybe darker. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my live stream was 14 seconds late. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you better now? Did you refresh your connection? <laughs> yeah. Um, Twitch just went on break for some folks. I'm going to go ahead and wait uh, until they're fully back again, the Twitch people in the in the uh, cheap seats. <clears throat> and then we're going to try to figure out where my clues, which are down here, uh, there, there and there, uh, where they're going to go ahead and, and pop up. So that's that's the fun we're doing here in Janan and basically back in the test um, world that you start Mist Exile. Uh, well, you don't start here, but you quickly end up here. And this is like your first Nexus world here. Yeah. Isn't that kind of um, beastly? I mean, you could tell me and I'll take I can take it that that's just like a crazy coincidence. Like, oh, you know, Flanagan's got his poke pokers in a lot of fires and uh edgar Allan poe being in creative common sort of space like anybody could take a a poe universe from all of his works and compile it together and it just so happened you know it's just bad luck d it's just bad luck and i that's fine i i might if somebody really gave me evidence like look here i have like flanagan's notebook from like 2015 where he started this pet project he always wanted it and then he finally got the funds because he got big enough on Netflix and whatnot that he was able to uh, to start this project. I would have been like, hey, you know what? The world's a crazy place and coincidences are not proof. They're not proof. So, you know, if uh, something came up and it turned out Flanagan was always a Poe fan, this is finally him realizing his dream and we just happen to be, be entering the same space by accident. I'd be like, all right, cool. That's fine. But um, until then, I'm going to feel a little bit miffed about House of Usher yeah use hacks including no clip with fly hacks to escape is that how i'm gonna do this or do you mean in stream or do you mean how how we get our po project off the ground <laughs> sam how's it going i think i just had an idea for a graphic novel different from yours of course sam 
if you go forward with this, I know I can sue you because I'm going to have this on VOD so I can pull it up on YouTube. <laughs> I'm covering my own tracks. <clears throat> yep. And uh, I'll likely tell my, my script writing troupe that we spoke of this on live stream so that they will also be in the know. <laughs> Enough of this sad, sad, tragic story. Let's start playing this game. Yes, I agree. I agree. Endangerment fully 100%. Okay. So my theory is maybe this thing over here is a reader for my clues because we tried this earlier. It absolutely didn't function for me. I don't know how it's supposed to do. There's like a weird gear down here. There's like what looks like some sort of light that maybe come up through the substrate. And then honestly, what this looks like, did any of you have overhead? Um, I don't even know what they are. They're not overhead projectors, are they? I guess they are projectors. And then somebody would write on like cellophane with a really crappy pen and uh, and do stuff on the board for you. This was like before whiteboards were like really good. I'd say you used to use these projector things. They were like so-so. I feel like a lot of teachers were really sucky at using them, but this feels like that kind of thing. It's just a theory, but a, a script writing theory. Does anybody watch Game Theory? It was a good, good guy. Does he still do YouTube? It's one of those lamps from Ikea. <laughs> Maybe. If this doesn't turn on, though. Bummer. It's like a lamp named Brun or something like that. <laughs> Even with whiteboards, some teachers used them. Why? If you've already got a whiteboard, just go right on the board. Maybe people's arms get tired from holding them up. I don't know. It seems like most people are fine. Can you make chat a little bit smaller? Yeah, I agree. It does look a little bit on the large, large size. How do we... Where do we... Where's my chat? Oh, I hit it. Hang on. I know where it is. It's over... Yeah. Anybody who's on um, mobile, is this still legible? Chat's fine. Make it bigger. <laughs> um, how's that? Uh, MatPat quit YouTube? What? Did he get like a big boy job or something? Like I'm trying to do the opposite over here. I got myself a big boy job. You know, we can pay for, well, basics. Can't really like splurge, but we can at least pay for some basics. And all I want to do is get get on YouTube full time. <laughs> That's better. Okay. If anybody's watching on their phone, please confirm. Aya, uh, hello and welcome. Welcome back. It's been less than twenty four hours. He retired. Retired. Like he made enough money to just. That sounds kind of nice. I don't know if I could do that. If you were really passionate about creating, would you retire when you made enough money to not have to work anymore? I think I would just work, but you know, I might be more brave uh, to, to do the things that I've just always wanted to do. Like I have this weird idea. I, I keep telling you guys my ideas. Somebody's going to steal all my shit. I have this weird idea for like a, um, a gothic rap act that's kind of like... Imagine if Deontward weren't like sexual predators and their music was less rave and more like goth club. And then you had the rap part over top of that. That's where I want to, that's where I want to go. But I feel like there isn't really a big market for it. But if I had enough money to retire, I'd be like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to make this music act live. <laughs> MatPat said he wanted to spend more time with his family. I mean, okay. That's his passion, you know? My passion is... Uh, I'm passionate about my family too, but I'm passionate to show them that if I have creative interests, I can see them through. And so, you know, model for them what they could do with their lives too. Something like that. I'm taking notes. Thanks for the idea. Damn it. <laughs> this is also on stream. If I see you do this, well, actually, no. If if you go forward and you legitimize goth rap, then you're paving the way for my act later on. That's actually a, a good idea, maybe. All right, let's try this. Let's put a sheet on the overhead projector and see if this works. Eh. Hey, it works. I can't believe it. We are using an overhead projector. Oh, what's it doing? It's off screen. Why would they do that? I can't move my head. It. Oh, what? Oh, hi. 
so easy, is it, Atris? Running like a rat through a maze, looking for some sign that'll help you save your world. Check this back. Here? Is it over there? Is it someplace I can't find? Sirius and Akinar didn't care about saving Orion. Oh, I know that. All that talk about fixing instabilities, rewriting the aid so that we would be free to live our lives. That was just talk to hide the truth of why they had come. Mm-hmm. But we believed their lies, Atris. So we abandoned our traditions, forgetting that those traditions were keeping Orion alive. And when the last tree started to die, I followed them here to tell them what they had done. And they laughed. They said they would never fix Orion. They said that they had already taken everything it had worth saving. Oh, cruel. Oh, look at that tear in his so dear, eye there. Old friend, Atris. That's a good guy. I brought you to this place where your education begins. I like this. Find the remaining two symbols and then come see what your boys did to Orion. He's got such ferocity. Don't you love it? The little tear in the in the shady and the shadow shadowed eye there. And he was just like so ah. Uh, I mean, I've seen so many people, and I know he's like a trained actor and he's been in a number of things. He was, you know, the serial killer uh from Child's Play, <laughs> who eventually became the Chucky doll. But he's he's been in a lot of other things. Um it's just so cool to watch somebody in especially early video games where you kind of don't expect the acting to be that great. I remember playing um, Jedi Knight, which was, what was it? It was called something else. There was a previous game that was Star Wars based. That was a first person shooter. It was an old PC game. Can't remember what it was called. Dark Forces or something like that. And Jedi Knight was like Dark Forces 2. They had like actors in the Jedi Knight series and they were always kind of like, they were trying to some degree, but I feel like they were also kind of just clocking in. Like they didn't really know if what they were acting in was going to be worth anything. So they were all kind of like holding back. This guy is not holding back. His performance is so good. Savidro is so good. I don't remember the actual actor's name. What's it? Oh, Brad, Brad, is it Durif? So good. Yeah. I super love this. <sighs> yeah, that was great. It's a scanner. Is that what it is? It's like scanning, scanning the the symbol and then unlocking it. Yeah. Is this an original or remaster? This game doesn't have a remaster as far as I know. I love Savidro. He's so good. Honestly, like that. He's been pretty passionate before this particular cutscene, but that cutscene, oh, it hit me. It hit me. He cares so much. And he's definitely like, he's He's being vengeant, vengeful right now, but you you kind of side with him. You kind of get it, you know? Savidra might be the best character of the series. Ooh. I think he was yapping. Well, we're going to see some more yap because we got both of the other symbols here. Here's symbol number two. Boop. I didn't know you could see these earlier than collecting all three at once. So we could have been watching these along the way. But uh, now we just get to see them back to back to back. I love the cannon drops, actually. This is nice. This what you expected, Atris? When you followed me here, hoping to reclaim relation? This classroom, what you expected to find? I read your journal, you know. In Tamana. After I found your linking book abandoned outside this observatory, I read all about the Dunning. How you started their world again. Can you really do that, Atris? After everything that's happened to Narayan, could you start their world over again? I don't think so. Mm. I think there's too much blood on our hands, too many ghosts. Surely you can't change that with a pen stroke. Interesting. One more symbol, Atris. Narayan is waiting. Interesting. It sounded like for a second he was almost 
questioning his own like path of vengeance like oh wait maybe you could save my world after all maybe we could merge together i've got collateral on you i could kind of force you into this but then we could end up with something mutually beneficial if you worked on this but then he shows he doubts he doubts atris's abilities which i'm starting to doubt too if he can't raise two good sons if both of his sons are so corrupt i don't know i doubt him too i think you can look further down for the scanner i oh maybe maybe if i like started it here because once it's on there it's locked and i couldn't look down to see what's going on with this machinery but i really wanted to it locks your um locks your camera there's a book right there it's open it's ready to grab it's just not reachable so yeah hey everyone welcome on in good evening savito is definitely a great character i am digging i am digging he's so his performance has been so good he's got such a range even though all he's doing is i'm on a vengeance path right he's basically the bride from kill bill he's john wick he's just at it to get back his he's not even trying to get the world back he knows that the world is not retrievable or he believes that there's nothing atris can do to like save it so he's just in this to be like, hey, I need you just to see how shitty you are. Yeah. Worst dads in history. <laughs> As a father, I strive to not be like Atris. I would really love for both of my kids to grow up to not be conniving and um, playing games with uh, imaginary people's worlds. And <laughs> they both seemed very... Um, like sadomasochist sort of uh, just just awful just yeah yeah you have to jump to get that book you don't know about mist man mist man does not jump mist man does not climb even a curb level of height mist man does not walk on anything uneven mist man uh is scared of a lot of things and mist man will definitely not jump although in the last stream mist man crawled inside of a log and army crawled his way up it why how? I don't know. It was pretty cool. I didn't think that was possible, but he did it. And that was the most uh, athletic thing the protagonist of these games has ever done in the history of this game. <laughs> no jumping, ankle safety first and missed. <laughs> More than ankle safety. Like, just absolutely everything safe. He's just wrapped in bubble, bubble wrap or something. We don't have enough leg power. Yeah, with the Mist Man definitely skipped leg day forever. Okay, we'll try this with a little bit of a more down angle. Show me what's going on down there. Oh, cool. Oh, that's interesting. How weird. <gasps> it's a bridge. Is it going to come up a little bit? Looks like it's kind of low. Oh, who is it? What? That's Atris. You've done well, my sons. It's a young Atris. There's still one task ahead of you. The linking book you see here connects to an age called Narayan. It's a very delicate age where civilization has emerged in response to the world's imbalances. It's also the first inhabited age I'm sending you to alone. But don't be afraid. The knowledge you've acquired here will show you the way in. Use it and see all that Narayan has to offer. Huh. Interesting interesting he didn't fast enough i get serious he was more calm and collected but how did atris not see that akinar was unhinged yeah Cirrus is looks like one of those guys that could kind of like play nice when he's around father like oh yes i can simp and like follow and whatever it is that you say i will say too and oh you like to talk stern and serious about right things to do and save the people in the balance i can do that too in front of his father and then be conniving behind his back akinar uh, that homeboy was like mad there's no way he was giggling he was wild he was like insane how would you hide that how would you hide that study character recognition software <laughs> yeah maybe that's what it is better than what we have these days we can can't even uh, solve captchas glasses equals nerd yeah he was a nerd his sons, lawful evil and chaotic evil. Uh, lawful, I don't know. Like, 
Akinar definitely chaotic, but I don't know. Lawful usually implies that there is a self-serving rule set that you follow. And I don't know if Cirrus was necessarily following sort of like a a path of um it it, it didn't necessarily seem lawful to me you usually see more structure all he seemed to do was like pr be self-preservational <laughs> save good call good call actually after that lore dump what i call this one lore dump <laughs> save Done. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me about that. Uh, the canon never explains why no one noticed Akinar's obvious mental health problems. <laughs> Seems weird, right? Unless they happened like really um, recent to being banished. But then why was he acting in such a way to get banished? Or maybe the banishment did it and he was like not that unhinged until he was trapped in a book for however long i don't know you tell me you tell me we're all insane on the inside speak for yourself i'm this i'm so sane i have my sanity oozes from my pores i'm so sane my sane my sanity could fill another person's skull carefully melon balled out of their head and the innards extracted and made into a fine stew that's how sane i am all right, let's go to Narayan. Oh, what's going on in Narayan? What is this? Is looks magical, a nice uh, tower of sorts, perhaps with something. Uh, it's hard to. It's pretty hard to see. Are those? I don't know what those are. Cupboards or something. We're inside of a a building that looks pretty and cyan colored. <laughs> Depending on how long they were in the prison books, that might have been a result. Yeah. Why did you explain that about your sanity? I need you to know how sane I am. That uh, I'm not insane on the inside. I'm really... Um, I, I have high levels of sanity that I need everybody to know. Oh my god, it's the first iPad. This? Yeah, basically. We're going to touch it. All right, let's see this in big. Interesting. neat it looks like membranes of like trees and limbs and vines and stuff and here we are inside and like yeah and it sounds like it's growing is is this supposed to be all part of the tree that they were like praying to to make their age survive oh oh there we go oh my gosh there's a lot of there's a lot of glyphs here on the wall there's like a whole thing we're gonna have to learn isn't there <sighs> yeah, I think so. You are now an iPad kid. <laughs> I love this age so much. Cool. Good to know. Why is there ASMR noises? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a tree grabbed an ASMR mic and is just like bending branches into the microphone <laughs> really close. <laughs> this is a new language discovery. That's going to be the first thing I'm interested in looking at. Um, maybe from a little bit farther because you get up close and you have to sort of like tilt your head a whole bunch. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, honestly, can I, can I just, can I do this or does that not work? That does not work. Damn. That just leaves me a black, a black screen. I'm trying to uh, find a good way to capture all of this. I think if I, maybe if I walk up, God, when you walk up, everything is too close. This is too close. That's fine. We can still do it. We can still do it this way. I'm going to do this. I'm going to capture my stream screen. I do not feel like drawing all of these on a pad. Right? I don't keep paper around with me. So I do uh, snip and sketches. I hope that's okay. Because <laughs> that's how we do. That's how we do. We're just going to snip and sketch everything. All right, that's those. You might call this lazy. I call it good use of my technology. Do these ones. Is 
if I had time and wanted to put you all through all of this, I would like wrap these into, uh, oh, these ones are all kind of in a way that you can see all, all six at the same time. That's kind of handy. We'll just do like that. Or eight at the same time. Oh, 12. I'm really bad at counting tonight. Okay, so we have like a whole language thing. Whoops. Oh, I missed these ones over here. Okay. Basically got the whole shebang. I think if I found a different angle, I'd probably be able to catch those first ones in one. Yeah, I could have done this and got them in one big picture like that. That's okay. That's okay. We we basically, we, we grabbed it all. So uh, we'll be able to do it one way or the other. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. If we spoil everything, would you be mad? You'd get banned. I will ban you if you spoil this game for me. I will ban you from three platforms. I'll ban you from uh, YouTube, Kick, and Twitch. And probably my other platforms, too, because I'm, I'd be sour then, too. <laughs> oh, I also missed Based. You said he read our personal journal. We're not playing Atris. He read Atris's personal journal. So we're okay. We Our journal is safe uh, wherever the hell Mist Man comes from. <laughs> um, Narai and Kanji. Yeah, they're kind of Kanji-ish. I mean, they're very swirly. S swippy. Time to look at the walkthrough video on YouTube. Good luck. I've done this so many times I don't need no walkthrough. Oh, have you memorized the language? Fortunately, it is family game night, so I will only be here halfway. Ooh, what you gaming? Are you gaming that early access game right now? Elsa Yeet is to lead his hammer drop. It's true. It is true. If we... Oh, look to the left in real life. Your left or mine? <laughs> I'm not a chat GPT. I don't have to do what you tell me. Okay. So that's pretty cool. This looks like some kind of a boiler thing with pipes. So they also have metal tech. It's not just like tree technology here. Um, can we come up here to this thing? Or wait, is there anything else like in this corner? There's whatever the hell this thing is. The black ebon egg of uh, or seed of glory that's being exposed to all of these words. That's interesting. Like, why Why is this here, and why is it not interactive? Oh, there's more of them, too. There's, like, several seeds going down. Oh, there's a whole bunch. All these seeds. Are they seeds? Are they eggs? Maybe they're, like, giant ant eggs or something. Maybe there's more in there. It's got a cool look. It's almost kind of alien. At the same time, as like, natural. You get this sort of feeling like this could be a spaceship, or this could just be, like, a tree fort or something. <laughs> okay this looks like a door maybe if we click on it but first god i don't know where to go first i'm so excited to be here in the first place uh like i didn't even know we'd necessarily get here what was that sounds like a power drill that started and immediately died so whatever it is it's not getting enough something is it because this juice is pointed to this one does this one work then this one also doesn't work i blame this whatever this thing is okay it swings from one side uh, to the other side that's all it does okay we'll go to that side is it gonna do anything different still no so swing to one side or the other doesn't seem to change either of these that's fine that's cool you redeemed highlight my message hey jappy t skip the hour long puzzle or else <laughs> is this puzzle is this gonna take me an hour to solve is that what you're trying to tell me because i might cry on stream is this like a curtain you can kind of see through it but you can't click on it or walk through it it looks like it should just you should just be able to walk through i have no idea if it will watch i just like immediately solve it 
and all of you who have played this game before you're like oh, it took me five hours it took me a month to solve this and you solved it in 30 minutes am i really that dumb i i leave these streams wondering if i'm really that dumb uh oh cutscene cutscene it's him oh snap what's he got what is that yeah, I'm not Atris. You're not. Yeah. Where is he? Ah. Uh. Look, I know he's here. I have his book. So where is he? Don't shake that thing at me. He didn't come. Nope. I take Malisha from me, and he sends you instead. I know, right? Idiot. You got played. Oh, he's upset. You thought that you could force him into coming here, fixing things? Why? Why would he rewrite Narayan? Because of your messages? Because of your paintings? I feel so bad for him right now. Look at your world. Look at what's left of it. When are you gonna get it through your thick skull that you do not matter to him? It's true. He wouldn't even see you in person. Could be a lot out there. No one. But I am. We're stuck here, you know. Am I short? The linking book back to Janan is gone. Why did he Left kneel? Behind when I linked out of Atris's study. And as for getting in to Narayan, look around you. This chamber is the only way in. And Atris installed some kind of shield, and I have never been able to get past it. Not once in all these years. So you're just as stuck here as I am. Okay. At least until I open this book. To open and a I book? show Atris what it's like to watch your friends and relatives die. Except he's not gonna see it. behind him too yeah, you bet that was cool he's he's upset with himself and i feel bad for him i i don't care if he the game developers are like let's make him kind of threatening i like want to side with him right now and be like yeah fuck atris let's get this shield down let's save you and your planet or your age or whatever and like <laughs> let's figure something out <laughs> It's a green screen or animation, maybe a CGI man. Wait, what? Oh, the the guy. I mean, he was definitely on a green screen. He needs help. Don't worry, because I think this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I think I've heard of that company before. It's Death Note. Yeah, I imagine if he if he could actually write books like Atris, then they'd be in real trouble. Invisible walls everywhere the game mods are watching. I mean, this game's full of invisible walls. I never knew the book of life, the movie, was real. <laughs> All right. Looks like everybody's back from break. Uh, if you missed the very tail end of the cutscene because of Twitch ads, um, basically, he just said, you're stuck in here just like me. And if you do find a book, then um, beware because I'm going to come through that book, too. <laughs> Nauseam, what's good? Uh, and he went in this door. I'm kind of curious to see if we could follow him. I got a feeling like he won't let us. Yeah. He seems like the kind of guy that if he if he met Mist Man, he would just be like, I'm noping out of here. I'm upset. I'm upset he's spaghetti that you're not Atris. I'm upset that uh, my plans sort of like fell through. And I really don't want to hang out and talk to you. 
All right, does this thing work? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm hearing like boiler sounds. Are we reliving Voltaic again? Is that what's going on here? Because these are like power creators and it might have just um, routed power somewhere. He does. I hear a hum. That was the Voltaic signal that something was going right. It was a hum. Uh, I have to get back to lurking. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks for the lurk, man. I have no idea why my Twitch ads were skipped and I don't have a subscription. Do you use Twitch Turbo? That'll also skip ads for you. Or you could just uh, be lucky. I don't know. Or they could come up in an inopportune time. Which would suck. Or maybe somebody bought you a subscription. No, you're not subscribed. I would I would be able to see it. I could see your sub badge. Go, do these work now? <gasps> it does! Hi. Uh, you just got taller. And... Oh. Oh. I have to draw all of those things out of this thing. Uh, but I don't know what. I don't know which. So I get it. You've got glyphs. You've got a lot of glyphs. You probably have to do it to both sides, I presume. Right? If I do this, does the other side that I just interacted with stay? No, it doesn't. And then this one, same deal. Oh, only four glyphs. Interesting. Why? Why? Okay, so that's weird. Um, one has a ton of glyph entries and one only has uh, one glyph entry. So you got to figure out what to put in there. I don't think we're there yet. I think we'll we'll find it at some point. That's interesting. These are it's a it's a cool language idea, but it's also um hard to read fast. I think. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I I think I could I I could probably put this to memory over time. Change looks like an orange hanging off of a vine. I could eventually come up with mnemonics and memorize it all, if I so chose to. <laughs> uh, you just got a little taller. Sounds pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, here's the other thing, right? I said, I asked if Miss Man was short because when he decided to be threatening um, Savidro, he like got, he put his hands down on his knees and like hunkered down to look me in the eyes. I'm like, wait, am I like a kid? Maybe I'm a kid? Could I be young? I think they would talk to you differently if you were young. But maybe I'm a short person? I could just be really short. Puzzle time, the best time of the game. Honestly, not having to do Easter egg hunting, but just getting like lore and puzzles makes me happy. It does. Isn't it great that I am the only viewer on YouTube? You are not. I see two concurrent viewers right now, but I also don't check the stats very often. Uh, when you were four foot eleven, I uh, I knew a girl who was four foot eleven in my high school. I don't think she ever grew taller than that. Okay, this looks like it's a door. Looks like it's a door right to that thing. Is this the door that I'm trying to open with the glyphs? How am I gonna know which glyphs? There's got to be something else. You can't just pick a bunch of glyphs and try it random. That would take forever. Uh, could we flip this to something else? No. So that's either off or on. That's all there is to it. That is all there is. So there must be something else. Um, from up here, are there any clues? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wasn't trying to get over there. Um, any clues in or around here at all? Maybe not. That is no door, just branches that are protected by an invisible wall. <laughs> aren't we all, if you really think about it, aren't we all branches protected by invisible walls? When you really think of it, when you think about it. Make sure you look everywhere and check all your research from the books and pictures and such. Yeah, I kind of figured that in that this was such a minimal um, space that uh, also there's like 
um, ripped tapestry here. So you know that there are more symbols that got yeeted. See that? You see that? It used to cover just like over here. It used to be right there. So something happened to those symbols. Um, the, 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 this area is too minimal. And, uh, and Savita himself said before you get here, you'll have to remember all of your uh, teachings, right? Which is basically like code word for I, I'm going to use um, past things. <laughs> and, and I kind of figured too, right? Like that's that ultimately that's really good game design is you take stuff from like the previous ages. Did we learn something about marbles that we'll have to use? Did we learn something about power redirection that we'll have to use? Did we learn something about um, plants and, and, and their strange um, traits that we'll have to use? I've, I kind of figured like all three would come back together. That would be a really smart way to build this game. Uh, it's opposite day. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do what he said. Um, so, yeah, my prediction is something will have to come of this. These symbols are these parts of what we see up here, because I have a feeling like they are. Um, although when I'm looking at these walls up close, my book disappears. That's interesting. I have to look at them from like way back here to get to these, right? But these definitely look like those symbols. So one of them is like a yin yang missing the bottom and like a comma next to it. So do we see that on the walls? Um, we do, it's motion. There it is. So we got, and now we're going to have to actually use our text file here. So let's pop this up. I won't pop this up um, multiple times in stream, but I'll at least bring this up right now. <laughs> it has all the missed games in it because I just keep adding to the bottom. Um, how did it get down there? I feel like it's in the wrong spot. Whoops. Wrong. Moving the wrong thing. Zoop. There we go. Okay. So... Um, this is, what is this place called? Narayan. And we have motion. So that's on one of the symbols, but it's also got another symbol like connected to it, right? So let's close this and look at the other half of the symbol. Are those hacks? <laughs> Brain hacks. I can't memorize this kind of stuff, and I certainly do not use uh, pen and paper. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those aren't hacks, they're cheats. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Okay, so uh, that was half of it. The bottom half of this is like a tiny eye at the top and boobs. So I think I saw that one um, right there. Future. There it is. Future. So we got motion and future. We'll put motion plus future. I'll show you one more time. And that's what I'm typing here. Motion plus future. We're going to start a new line. And then I won't keep popping up notepad because it's super annoying to have to toggle it on, toggle it off. You all know that's there in the background. You all know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just going to I'm gonna have it over here on the side. OK. So that's that. Next one is, oh, it's the orange. It's the orange. That was change, right? There it is. Change. So change plus um, what's that other one? It looks kind of funny. It just looks like a curve with another or part of a curve with another part of a curve. Aren't they the same thing? Hacks and cheats? I would say ha there are other ways to cheat besides hacking. Uh, exploiting would also be a way to cheat, right? Which is uh, using the game in its current state, but not as it's intended to be played. I wish you could be playing Narayan by the prodigy while you're doing this age. <laughs> yeah. It's cool that they're nerds of mist. It's nice to see crossover stuff where you see like your favorite people doing other stuff that's also your favorite. Okay, so it's just like, um, it's just like two concentric curves one one inside of the other uh starting in like the top right quadrant quadrant um but i don't see oh there it is force you think 
Force has like a little extra bloop at the top of it though. Does this? Oh, it does, it does, it does. Okay, so that's Force. So next one is change plus Force. And then this one is, oh, it's another like plant looking sort of thing. This is the age I always find random notes for whatever I move. <laughs> like, oh, hey, it's all the little symbols here. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so this one is like, um, like three leaves dangling off of a loopy viney thing. That can't be hard to find. Oh, there it is, nature. So I got the feeling these are the three test worlds that we're entering in information from. Motion and future, that would be um, probably voltaic. And then change and force sounds like Amateria. And then this last one's going to be uh, Edada. So it's nature and... Okay, that's like a, a circle with like grab hands in the bottom right corner. <laughs> uh, this is how Oz and I would talk when we played the uh, We Were Here or We Were There or whatever the, that series of games. We come up with our own strange nomenclature for explaining things together. <laughs> Okay, um, circle with the grab hands. There it is. Encourage. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the theme of Adana there. Okay, so that's in. The rest of these, I don't care. I don't care what the rest of these are. No, I probably care. Um, so there are four entries here. Whoops. Oh, right. I'm, I changed this thing. There are four entries here. Or three. There's only three. Oh, okay. There's only three. If there's only three, then what am I supposed to do? They must have to touch the diodes. That makes sense. So there's like hot wire here in each of these three corners. And um, I don't know. This one doesn't look like it would touch any of them, though. This one, no matter the orientation, doesn't fit the schema here, does it? Oh, it does. It does. You can make them touch in the middle. Wait, is there a third symbol for these ones? The orange... Hang on. The orange, does it have like a little blip at the end? It doesn't. And then the other one was... Um, the other half of that was... Force. There's a blip between those. Is there one that's just like a bottom curve with a blip? Maybe it's uh, one of the ripped off things. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah. That one, I don't know if it, it could still touch. It would have to be... Those two have to be the horizontally across these two. And no matter what you do, it's not going to touch one of the hot wires. So something's wrong with this symbol and this puzzle. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, when will you ever play Undertale? I will consider playing Undertale after we get through the Mother series. Now, I raided somebody last night after we were playing... Um, no, not last night. We were playing one of the Mother games, and somebody was like, oh, it's too bad. You can't play Mother 3. Uh, I, I'd be curious. Do, can somebody do some research and see if Mother 3 has an English translation or if it was ever localized in any fashion? Because I would love to play that one in the franchise if it's absolutely impossible and you can only do it in Japanese. I don't know if I could dust off enough Japanese to like play a game with a lot of quirky and weird dialogue and do it confidently and translate it into English while I'm playing. My Japanese is kind of rusty. Um, so if, if there's no English translation, we might straight go from Mother 2 to maybe Undertale since it's kind of like in that vein. Uh, if not, I'd kind of like to finish Mother 3 if it's possible to play that one in English and then, um, and then maybe Undertale. Or if there's any games, do you think there are games like in the same vein between the Mother series and Undertale? I don't know that there are. I think Undertale might be one of the only games 
that's possibly based on that same sort of mythology. Yeah. I'm not smart enough to understand this. Oh, you probably could in, in time. All of these are... A lot of these puzzles are not about how smart you are. They're about how much... How observant and, and patient you are. I'm going to eat another one of your apples. Okay, Oz. Uh, you're, you're welcome to them. Whatever uh, floats your apple. Okay, so there are also the counting system here. I wonder if this comes into play at all. Um, but I feel like it couldn't because it has some straight lines and there are zero straight lines in these. So that kind of doesn't make sense. Let's go back to the beginning of this. This should be fully assembled and just look for visual clues somewhere in here. If not visual, there might be textual clues because there are words on those walls that we might have to translate. If so, oof, we'll, we might have to do a lot of reading, but I hope it's not necessarily the case that we have to sit here and read through the whole journal entries again. Um, but I'm just looking for anything that glyphs in similar fashion to what we're looking at here on the screens or on the banners. Um, I don't see anything. Of the sort. I see a lot of these combinatorics of plants and stuff, which still haven't really come to fruition. That's kind of interesting and odd that we haven't gotten there yet. I think maybe that will come up here in this world. And I think... I think Atrus's is all lore dump for the most part. It's just background to the story, and all of his sketches are just of, like, Dunny or something. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything here. And I don't know. So he does have the highlighted words, though. He does, he does, he does. So maybe um, each one of these means... And I have these written down, actually. Uh... Where did I put those? Oh, maybe I didn't write these down. Maybe I thought because they're they're in these books that I that, that would be fine. But um, maybe we should go back here and do that just in case. They're definitely highlighted for a reason. Um, are they the expensive Fuji apples, Oz? I think they're Fuji. We can't do expensive foods right now. We just eat to survive. Ambrosia. Ambrosia is one of Oz's favorites. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this was one of them. Um, if I go back to my text file, it was energy powers future motion. So I think we need energy. We need energy in the future motion one. So we're going to stick that in there. Good, good, good. And then... Did we skip one? I moved kind of fast. Da, da, da. Oh, here. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, nature encourages mutual dependence. So nature encourages mutual dependence. Hopefully those aren't two words. Well, if they are, it would probably fit, fit them all in one. Um, and then the last one was... Balance systems, balanced systems stimulate civilizations. So that's a fourth one. <laughs> stimulate uh, civilizations. Yeah, balanced systems stimulate civilizations. Um. There's got to be a fourth one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I was like, where's the change in force? And it's there. Uh, dynamic forces spur change. So dynamic, I guess, is the word we we're looking for. And then this fourth one here. That's got to be the last one. That's got to be the other side of this puzzle. Can we back out of this, please? Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Um, uh do I really want to do this on, like, um, paint? Because I feel like we're... We, we would have to actually, like, memorize these symbols, write them down on paper. I think if I used the 
Oh no no wait okay okay never mind never mind we can we can make this work we can make this work um because we did get we did get these so <sighs> let's think about this paper 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 you have no idea paper first off I don't have paper here second of all I don't have pencils and pens and third off if I ha if I do all that stuff then it's hard to like show the stream because it the camera's not going to focus on it um so maybe what we should do is uh paint actually make that work because i also happen to have um a paint on hand <laughs> all right so if we're doing paint and we are looking at let's look at each one of these separate we'll show you a paper in the desk in front of your desk that's like expensive printer paper though can we grab this so that my hand is like not in the middle of it? Literally, no. Like your hand gets right, right up in, right up in there. Um, okay, so this first one was motion and future. Is that right? Can't even move my motion, 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 motion. There's future. Ah, forgot. You have to look away to get this thing. Yeah, future and motions. There's future. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do this with paint. We can do this with paint. That's fine. Pull this up. Move this like maybe a little bit closer to me. So you all can see the screen we're looking at. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think this. Will, I think this will work out. So we got your motion. You got the uh, the boobs. You gotta in incorporate the boobs and the little divot up here. That's like a mouth. It's like a mouth and boobs. Yeah. And <laughs> the other half of it was motion. And motion connects to this from the bottom to the top. So, right? So let's put motion on the screen. It's over there. And walk over to it. Yeah, get it nice and big. So it's easy for me to do this on paint. So you go, yeah, yeah. It's so got like a bird beak right up there. And the bird's gonna eat a worm. And there's the worm. Something like that. Although these are much farther away in the actual thing down below. So what we need to do is this part. Oh no. This part's actually like over here. <laughs> Some kind of more like that. And it connects more like that. Those are boobs. That's a huge butt. Hey, if you're a butt guy, more power to you. Why are we talking about that? I hate monkeys. <gasps> Do you? I hate um, the monkeys from the movie 12 Monkeys. Yeah. I hate monkeys too. Interesting. Do we have a whole consortium of monkey haters? Uh, throw up uh, an emoji in chat if you hate monkeys. If you hate monkeys, thumbs down. If you love monkeys, thumbs up. I want to see. Let's count the thumbs ups and thumbs downs and see what's happening. Monkeys are terrifying? That is true. Monkeys are, can be rather terrifying. You just need the legs? There's no legs. You're gonna have to imagine the legs yourself. <laughs> four times the crime? Wait, if there are 12 monkeys and it's four times the crime, does each monkey only add up to one third of a person? I'm so curious how that math works out. <laughs> they look like balls to me. Watch Damien accidentally draw a peener. I mean, hey, it's my stream. It's 18 plus. Welcome. <laughs> we hate monkeys around here. <laughs> Sounds good. Also, I love your uh, your name. Volumes Jiggly Bum. That's an amazing screen name. I know. I never know if one is going to rob me. All you have to do is have much less peanuts and bananas on hand. And then you are super fine. This is why the stream is 18 plus. Yes, it's because uh, of 
people like these people who um, are really scared of primates. I mean, we're we're related, not directly. We're we're an ape, and monkeys are not apes. So, you know. Oh, you're those type of people. <laughs> well, that's fun. Shoop. Shoop. Also, shoop. Um, one of these. One of these. And probably one of these. And what, oh, I don't have a, um, what is it that I don't have? I don't have a alert for YouTube bans. That makes me sad. Oh, well. Yeah, I just assumed they were actually, like, zoologically challenged people that were sad. Uh, but it turns out that they were just asking to be banned, which is fine. I could take the time to do that. <clears throat> plantations will grow <laughs> I mean we used to uh, have plantations and we still do too there's nothing wrong with having a plantation but when you bring it up in context uh, like those people did then uh, you're just asking for a ban hammer which is cool because I ban very quickly for very little reason at all <laughs> so Feel free to give me more reasons. We need motion, future, and energy. Which one of you is energy? Watch, it's one of the ones that's torn off the wall. No, never mind. It's literally right here. Okay, so energy is going to have to connect to this somehow. But how? Maybe down in the bottom left. The man hammer scares me. If you're a racist, you can still hang out in my chat. That's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't care what your background is. If you are um, highly ex extremist of politics, if you happen to have like a certain ideology that's really antagonistic and the rest of the world doesn't like you and you just feel like you're really downtrodden and um and everybody is moving on and leaving you behind and the world is going to hell in a handbasket and you're one of those few people that you have these ideas some of them are antagonistic some of them sure mean that there's some different rules for people different laws and rights for different people. You can have those ideas all you want. The second you type them into my chat, you're destroyed from here. I mean, you can go hang out on other people's streams, but uh, I will happily leave people alone in my chat and hang out and have whatever ideas you have. This is a safe space for you to be in and be whatever uh, hateful, old, archaic mentality you wanna have. I, I don't, I honestly don't care. Yeah, I honestly don't care. You're welcome here. If you are civil and you hang out with other people and you talk in ways that are acceptable for all my audience, then be here all you want, even with bad ideas behind your eyes. Because we all have some sort of bad idea that our, our mouths filter out, or in this case, your fingertips filter out. But if you are so motivated that your keyboard must get out, certain ideologies um, I will be happy to send you to some other community instead I pretend to be racist I guess it's funny uh, depends on how you pretend like if you pretend so much that everybody in my chat gets uncomfortable I would probably ban you <laughs> Savidra isn't the only one with a hammer hey oh Germany had its turn in 1940 what do you mean had its turn oh to be racist i mean a lot of people in germany fled germany because they weren't or uh fled the oppression to other places because they didn't want to do what they all said 
Oh, send you to another community? I see what you're saying. Yes, I will I will intern you. No, I'm just kidding. That's awful. Fire the civil cannon. See, I'm not like um not a civil rights sort of uh person where we can't have like discourse on those sorts of topics. I would prefer to have a more wide audience of different beliefs and different political systems together than um curate a group of people that all thought like me. And I'm I'm kind of like a raging centrist, but I know centrist is kind of like a it's a bad word when it comes to um, American politics. I think a lot of people are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like trad cons uh, and extreme like GOP shills that use the word centrist because the GOP is in such like a bad place right now. They haven't rebranded in a long time and they're, they're losing out on like the young market. So... I think calling yourself a centrist is a dangerous word. Just like if you were to say libertarian, it's kind of like a secret code word for like you want the uh, you probably have some secret racism. You're probably uh, pro drugs and you're probably pro uh, gun violence because it like thins out the masses. And you're sort of I don't know. Libertarian is is no longer the idea of smaller government footstep in your um, civic rights and smaller government footstep in your pocketbook libertarian is now just like batshit crazy so i can talk about me being I ideologically libertarian but then i always fear that people are going to think i mean that i want uh people to be able to shoot each other and take as many illegal drugs as possible and have no legal repercussions <laughs> yeah i Hey, what's going on, Sarah? I will let your girls are 16 before I have my way. What are we even talking about? I do, I cannot parse that sentence. I love shooting guns in a game. Uh, see, yeah, game guns are pleasurable. I, I agree. I actually have shot real guns most of my life. At some point, I toyed around with the idea of becoming a sharpshooter because my long distance skills were pretty accurate. And then um, my academics in computer science became so much more strong that like doing something as like a physical job didn't seem as enticing to me as using my brain and solving puzzles that way. Am I a dad? Oh, is Sarah trying to uh, bypass filters? Tonight's just the night, man. What is today? the sixth why why particularly this um uh, da, 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 da. we'll put that one in and then we'll also do i don't know this this tonight's just the night man I'm clueless. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> if you don't know what we're talk, what uh, people who are coming in are talking about, then um, you're fine. Okay, so I have to figure out somehow where to get a third symbol here, and the symbol we're looking for is energy, and energy would look like this with like a little carrot over here. Um, it's the approaching eclipse. It brings out the weirdos. Maybe, maybe. I just, I'm I'm in a, a, a space in my streaming career where I haven't really had to ban almost anybody. There are some bots that were sus that had joined my Twitch a while back and we left them alone. They never did anything. And then um, one of my fam stepped in and just banned them because uh, they had found them on like a list that they just sit and lurk. And then suddenly they just like flood your channel with a bunch of like anti TOS sort of stuff. So I was like, oh, well, I guess we got like a early, you know, start. It was like minority report sort of banning, ban them before they actually do the act. And that was fine. They were bots anyways. But um, I very rarely get people just like jumping in and saying random stuff like in the stream. 
and uh, and trying to like bypass filters and stuff. I mean, it's an 18 plus stream, so it's not like a big deal anyways. If uh, people pop in and try to put something on the screen just to be fun, um, but I'll probably just ban <laughs> quickly. It's so easy. It just takes like a click, so it's not even a bad, not even a hard thing to do. Oz, I got the I got the bans on YouTube, but if anything happens on Twitch, I'll leave it leave it to you. It's fun because that one actually creates a an alert for some reason. Bot spies probably from the Russians. Damn it! I knew it. I knew I should have learned Russian so that I would uh, stay under under the radar and they wouldn't target me. There's being a weirdo, and then there's talk about yeah. <laughs> All right, so somehow we have to get these symbols together and me whoops doing this on um paint like we could you know just kind of move this around although it also moves the white space around which is kind of annoying i don't feel like it fits there i feel like it could go so these are like di i don't know these are diagonal from each other let's close paint real quick and take a look at the um the interface again you're missing one all of these have four, don't they? They do all have four. I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, I didn't. Energy powers future motion. We actually need the word power then, don't we? I bet. I bet power's on this wall too. There it is. It's like, um, it's like those old opera glasses is what power is. So if we were to put that in, I'll, I'll only bring this up one more time and then um, you, you can all just imagine. Whoops. You can all just imagine that I'm doing that. This is now this looks more like a butt to me. Power, power, butt. Uh, you banned them. Yes, they are banned. Next stream, I will do a speed run to get banned. <laughs> But then you have to, like, send me an email or something to get unbanned because you, you won't be able to get through to me on YouTube. And then I don't check my email very often. And it's super, it'll be super annoying for you. I don't know. Is that what you want to do with your weekend? Okay, we'll close paint. We're going to try this just with the first one of these and see if we get what we're supposed to get. Um, we definitely know... Can I move paint off to the side first so I can kind of see these four symbols? Um, we definitely know where the first two come together. And then I guess the next two, maybe so everything touches. I'm kind of curious how this, how this is going to work too. We haven't actually used this interface yet to see. I guess it's just clicking things on. Something like that. Um, Nico! Sup, weirdos? What's going on? Hello, hello. Insert text. <laughs> Oz, if you're at Keys, can you give Nico a shout out, please? How does this go down that way, though? This part's supposed to be connected in a way that I don't see how this loops in. This one was... Looking through my screenshots now, but it's hard to... I did so many... Too many of these. I did way too many of these. What are you doing? I'm dancing, bro. Dancing. <laughs> That was so aggressive. <laughs> that was me. That was a clip of me. <laughs> what do, what could I say when the dance takes hold? I uh I don't I lose myself to the music. <laughs> there wasn't even any music. Oh, 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 oh. I think it's just this curve. I think it's that and then not these over here. I think it's just short. I love this clip. Wow, that is so cool. 
<laughs> you don't have to. You don't gotta lie to be in my good graces. It was goofy. We were having a goofy fun time. And then there's probably like this little thing over there. That looks probably right. And then if I leave this, I hope it stays because I might want to just confirm. Uh, not this, but like this, maybe. I feel like that looks right to me. And then over here, we got this. And it comes up and around. It does like a loop, loopy loop right there. See, I don't know if it comes all the way down there. Oh, it does. It does. It does. I'm looking at my screenshot real quick. Yeah, yeah. It's it super does loop up there. Um, why would he cry? Who are we talking about? Oh, do I cry? Do I even ever cry on stream? Have I ever cried on stream? No, I cry. Um, the things that generally make me cry the most are if I think of things that are really sad from my past. I have a lot of um, sad things. Or if I think about ways in which I've treated people unfairly in my past because I've also been like a real jerk in earlier stages of my life. Um, and I like to I like to remember some of those stories because I think it keeps me real. I meet so many people that rewrite their life to be the protagonist. And I, I encourage other people and I encourage myself to remember how many times I was uncharitable or just bad to people, uh, how many lives I've hurt in in my past because of my own actions or, or inaction, and just things that I've done that were not um, my best self. You know, I try to remember that kind of stuff. And sometimes that makes me cry. Um, a lot of what makes me cry, though, is um, just like sad moments in shows or movies. It, they have to be like particularly poignant. Um, if if the movie is made to make you feel sad, it usually doesn't really hit me. It's usually stuff that's kind of like out of left field. I'm suddenly like crying. Like it was meant to be full of emotion to watch, but I cried and I don't know why. It, it, it hits me. It just hits me at random. But I've never, I don't think I've ever cried on stream. Uh, he cries when he thinks of food. I mean, when I'm fasting. <laughs> You were the antagonist? I don't know if I was ever an antagonist. I don't think I ever played my life in such a way that I sought people's misfortune. But I've definitely done stuff out of my own selfishness or out of abandon that have hurt other people. Um, or out of um, despair. Not despair. What's the word I'm looking for? When you really, really need something? That. That. That word is escaping my head right now because streamer brain. But uh, when when I've been in like high need for something, desperation. That's what it is. If I've been if I've acted in desperation, selfishness, or uh, abandon of somebody else's I, uh, feelings or emotions, I've definitely hurt people that way. But I, I would call that less antagonistic. I've just been a foil. People who have known me that thought they should gravitate toward me and, and become closer. There's something about me that just made them really want to bridge that gap. And then they did. Uh, for a majority of my life, I've, I've hurt them when they've done that. And usually not on purpose. I don't know if that's antagonistic or not. Yeah. Yes, desperation. Thank you, Thank you Sam. That was definitely what I was going for. Okay, so that's, uh, that's three of the symbols. Then we're looking at um, power was like the, the, um, the eyeglasses. The, what do you call it? Opera glasses. Where do we see the opera glasses in this? I just want to make sure I get the um, the look of them just right. Is they are they in this one? No. Then they must be in this one. There they are. Okay. So it's kind of like, um, I hope this works. I don't think they, they do go, they have to go up here. They do touch there. That's fine. And then this, it should, it should go all the way down, right? This should light up. 
Or maybe it doesn't light up. Maybe it's not supposed to light up. That's one of them. That's one of them for sure. I think that would be the order. If these two were flipped, I don't know that that would matter. Save? I'll save. Um, unpaid electrician. Ah, it doesn't fit. Unpaid elect, we'll call it. Yeah. All right, let's go back in. Oh, thank God it saves that stuff. That's good to know. So you could do that and it's fine. Uh, well, that's one. Jeez. Um, that's just one. This part's, this part's a lot. Okay, so this one was the next one. We've got the orange and the like loop in a loop sort of thing. So let's do the... Now I said that this one didn't look like it actually connected up to things. Oh, also, um, yeah, I didn't get all four words for each one of these in my, in my notepad. So this one was balanced systems stimulate civilizations. Oh, I actually wrote down all four words for that one. I did, I did, I did. Okay. The other one was... I missed this one. Dynamic forces spur change. I didn't know there was one called spur. I haven't... I, I didn't pay, like, full attention to all of these, I guess. And then the other one was nature encourages mutual dependence. Oh, I did write all four words for that one. Much a future. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We did pretty good. We just missed one of the extra words on one of them. Uh, we might need a second stream to finish it. Given how, yeah, how meticulous you kind of have to be for all of this. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the orange and the loop in the loop. This one, I feel like maybe... You know what? Let's skip it. Let's skip it. Let's do this one first, um, for sure. Because I feel like this one's going to go in the bottom right. Well, I mean, by by deduction, then this one go, would go in the lower left. So let's give it a try. We'll put the orange on the left-hand side. So we'll do like the orange. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There's our orange. <laughs> we have this. It does seem like there's a little tick there. Right? I don't know. I don't trust that there's like a little tick there. Feels like there should be. I'll, I'll leave it in. If it's wrong, it's wrong. No, I'll take it out. No, I'll leave it in. It's Nobody would put those that many pixels in there for nothing. There's a little tick there for something. And then we got this. This comes down. There's like, um, is it like this much of the bottom circle? It's kind of there. Let's look at the, um, the actual image of the thing that we're trying to recreate here. Is it this one? It's like a loop within a loop sort of thing. I'm looking through the, um, screenshots that I nabbed. Oh, it's that one. Force. Okay, force looks like that, that, that. That's got to be it. That's got to be force. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Land in. What's going on? Try a honey bun. I feel so cool. Felt like a honey sun. <laughs> it's this lyrics. <laughs> What's good? If you know anything about Miss 3, then you know exactly where we are. If you don't, this is all going to look really confusing. But we're trying to put electrical wiring into this puzzle interface based on those things. Those things are based on uh, text that we read in this book. It's, it's like a whole, it's like a whole ordeal. Oh, it is a song. I'm super out of the loop on that one. Okay, so uh, that is that is force, and that is motion. 
No, no, no. Change. Wait, 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 wait. Change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We said that. Change is done. Force is done. We need dynamic and spur. Let's just let's just go look. Let's just go look. I don't remember seeing spur at all. Dynamic. What's wrong, Doug? <gasps> Not so Soft air. Oh crap. Palm right as the mail. Unawares. Let me uh, let me go in a quick AFK. I did not bring my water down, but I do have a, a cup. I could just go fill with water real quick. So I'm going to do that. I don't have any other water, so I can't take the hydrate. But when I come back, I will do stretches, uh, posture check, and hydration all at once. Um, hang on. I will be RB. I'm a former Sue. Yeah. Ugh. Former head chef. I'm Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yeti. Yeah. Like with my dogs, I I address them the exact same way I addressed any other thing that I'm talking to. The lamp, the person standing next to the lamp, the person who the lamp was made out of. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, disregard that for legal reasons. Of the night that's like you know they're enriching themselves in some way it's like they're also, they're also giving up sleep yeah they're also harming themselves in their their personal development it's it's not not great i could think of better things that they could be doing at this time at this hour like sleeping <laughs> excellent says when i was on food stamps i had to stick to a budget of 11 dollars a day to feed me and my daughter yikes Cool. All right. What are you wearing? Uh, I don't know. I just picked whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't actually unlock now. anything fun for a long time. What was that, Oz? That was kind of an intimate question to ask. What are you wearing? <laughs> what are you wearing? Yeah, if you were just using this as ASMR, this just got weird. <laughs> well, I wonder. I wonder if, I wonder, I wonder if somebody clips what, oh. what is going on. Will it stay, will my voice stay deep? Or, or will it, will everything like unphase itself? Makes you one. deep for you. See, but you have to hit a button to do that. <laughs> I've just got, her, I've got Herma deep. Oh, I got that's what that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a weird uh glitch that was happening. I can recreate that too, like any time, which is even more disconcerting. In case I do it by accident, you might have another <laughs> deep voice D stream. All right, hydration done. Stretching imminent. One day, if Twitch ever says uh, they allow feet on stream, I'll put a leg cam so you can see me stretch my legs too. Just kidding. You don't get my feet for free. If I have enough traction, I'll do a feet only fans, but uh, I don't think that's neither here nor there. Most people don't pay grown ass men like me to show feet on stream. I'm not shy. If it meant putting my kids through college, I'd tell them, yeah, yeah, you're uh, papa. Uh, this is how I did it. This is how I, this is how I got you to Yale and Harvard, my chillins. I'll follow you on OnlyFans. Just kidding. Hey, I don't kink shame. I just kink ask why. Or kink ask, what do you want next, senpai? <laughs> All right. We are doing uh, this puzzle. We're looking for spur. There's spur. Um, Spur is like a uh, like a sunset through a porthole and like a moon on the side, but the moon's got like a fish hook on the bottom for some reason. Okay, I gotta do that. And then um, what was the other one? It was spur and dynamic. I don't remember seeing dynamic in all of my screenshots. I'll just look for it here since I'm already here. Uh, dynamic, dynamic, dynamic. Is it on one of these pack walls here? Oh, there it is. Oh, neat. Um, it's like a wave going on over here. So, where's my cursor? 
I'll just draw it in um, paint that I promised you I wouldn't subject you all to over and over again. Joop, joop. Okay, it's done. Uh, da, 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 da. I had a friend stream glitch where his voice went really high and he sounded like Alvin and the Chipmunks. It was so funny. So he started singing the Lollipop Guild. Perfect. That is a consummate entertainer right there. When you know you have something going wrong, the show must go on and you just find a way to find a way to make it all work. Okay, back down to here. So, okay, so one of them is going to come up here. I have a feeling like um, the fish hook doesn't match this, but the wave and dynamic does. So you have this, this, this. Whoops, I turned this one off. And this ends up connecting to the top right, so this is good. This is good. This comes around in like a big loop-de-loop. -loop. That's that's dynamic for sure. For sure. And then spur was the porthole. Here's where things might fail on this particular one, but we'll see. Because these don't all like touch each other. I hope that's okay if they don't all touch. Because something would have to come over around and touch the orange, wouldn't it? Orange you glad. I, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe this one has to be over there. Because the porthole would be there. And then um, the moon is over here. And then it's got the little... Oh! Never mind. That one did a thing. And that's super not touching each other. So it's not, a, it's not an actual electrical wiring puzzle. I thought something would have to touch this lead. I thought something would have to touch that lead. So we definitely got that one right. Give up now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll save the game. We'll just save over the last one that we just did. Um, unpaid electric. Boop. Boop. So top one's wrong. <laughs> Bottom left is definitely right. Um, let... So, oh, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to do maybe the top one. We just have to change the orientation of these two. That doesn't seem right. I feel like this has to go down in the bottom right corner then is what really has to happen. So what we could do is take a screenshot of this and then just apply it to the bottom right corner and see if that works real quick. Worst that happens is it doesn't work that way. And, um, and that's fine. It's fine if it doesn't. So we'll back out. We'll go to this one and we'll try the same thing we were just looking at. Did I, did I just do the wrong one? No, no, no. That's the right one. That's the right one. That's the right one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we have the... Wait a second. No, it didn't do the right thing. Don't the images give you an orientation? I'm not sure what you mean. Don't the images give me an orientation? I am starting to believe. Like, are you saying, is there something in these images that show you, whoops, that show you, um, where they're positioned in the puzzle? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe these are flipped. We could try that. We could try flipping them. Let's try flipping them. This one would actually be this here, not there. That's fine there. This one would be that one, which means this yes, this no. And then the, the boobs or butt, whichever you prefer. This one would be a little twisty dealy. Um, plus the top thing, plus a moon on the side. And then this one would be our opera glasses kind of like 
that, but not any of these down here. Is that right? Aqua glasses, moon with the E, this thing, this with this. That would be it, but it's wrong. <laughs> I guess we're getting ready for the next save. I don't know. I already saved like three times since I've been here. I I think these might have to go down here. Um, so maybe maybe they just have to be in a different quadrant to actually work right. So this one was there, and then the boobs down here, and then the swirly three was over here with the moon on this side. And the opera glasses, oh, not there, uh, come up like that, over like that. Am I missing anything? I'm not missing anything for this one. It's just not, not reading it. We need another save. You'll thank me later. I'll, sure, I'll save. Because based call it okay uh that one's definitely in these two are both wrong and they're both like that's the right that's right oh it looks like that bottom one has one like extra swirl up oh there it is so now the bottom right one's different i'll save i'll save over the base one Boom! Yeah, it was just missing one part because I'm moving a little bit too fast. That's my own fault. That's my own fault. Okay, so this one. We're going to have to clear some stuff, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So it looks like the, the top one's going to be like the flower sort of thing. At least these are like quick and easy to click, click around in. Um, the flower that like loops down to here, but doesn't do these parts. And does it loop all the way there? That seems too far. Maybe just to there? No, it looks like it loops past that, though. Looks like it would have to do that. Let's look at the actual um, character for it. If I've got that one handy on one of my screenshots. Oh, it definitely goes um, all the way across that way. But it doesn't look like that in the glyph. That's the glyph's fault. The glyph's wrong. Looks like you are making good progress with your Norian calligraphy. Thank you. This this is fun. I am personally like a huge linguistics nerd. I studied linguistics at university and I really enjoy puzzles that have some sort of glyphing, pronunciation, decoding, using words in uh, that you learn from one, one corpus and then applying them to something else sort of thing. Like that's, that's my jam. The we were here uh, series. We were here together. We were here. All, all those uh, games that Oz and I played together. Those were really fun to play because of that propensity within me. Like, how do you come up with a system with somebody else in a quick amount of time when you don't know what you're about to face that um, that has that uh, those those qualities of you've got to get ideas across that are um, sort of linguistic of nature. Okay, yeah, it's the circle and then two of these together side by side. So top top and right are correct. So then we have to figure out what the glyphs are for this. Let's look back at my notepad real quick. This one was um, nature nature we got and then the um, the circle with the other ones that that's encourage. And then mutual and independence have to go there. So mutual. Which one is mutual? Mutual, mutual, mutual. It's got to be in one of my screenshots. Bear with me. Oh, mutual. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. We try it here mutuals like a pair of sideways eyeglasses 
with a uh, eyeglass um, chain on them. <laughs> and then the last word was nature encourages mutual dependence. Dependence was the last word. Dependence is the grab claws with the ball. If the grab claws were top and to the side like that and the ball is here. Damn, that's not it. Uh, so maybe these two are flipped then, in which case we just take these out real fast, put these in. Like that. And then this one's got to be dependence, which is the, whoops, grabbies. And then the circle over here. Damn. I got something wrong in there. Let's take a look. Let's take a, let's take a look at the actual things. Um, dependence, there. Grab you with the balls. Encourage, grab you with the balls in the other direction. So yeah, those are related to each other for sure. Uh, nature, we said it has the extra swoop that goes a little bit farther. Where are you, nature? Oh, we were right there, the very first one. Yeah, yeah. It swoops down, and then the glyph, it doesn't have this long tail, but it definitely does here on the on the screen. And then um, last, last one was... Um, oh, it was like the glasses with the glasses chain. Which one was that? Did I write that down wrong? Was it... Oh, was it mutual? I, I got mutual wrong, didn't I? I was looking at a bad screenshot then. Mutual is not that way. This one at the top is broken and it's off to the side. That's what it is. So if we go back and we change mutual. Everybody's screaming at their screen. Fucked up mutual. There it is. Oh no, I bet you they were. I bet you this language goes from top and then goes clockwise. Nature encourages mutual dynamics. How much you want to bet? It's like that. Um, wrong. Everything is wrong. <laughs> oh, wait, do you pronounce it like hall me or just home? Neither is pronounced like um, hall and then the month of May. Hall May. Hall May. Or if you want, really want to be Finnish, uh, it's not a May like the word May. It's like me, hall me. And then there's like a little stutter between the L and the M. Almost like a hidden third syllable that doesn't take f full form. And then you sound incredibly Finnish. Then you'll, then you'll start correcting people who say sauna and be like, no, my friend, it's sauna. <laughs> but yeah, Halme. Halme is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really appreciate the attention to detail here that Saavedra mastered this machine, but only enough to modify by subtraction. It's a nice extra piece of storytelling. Yeah. I, I do like that. He's definitely, he, he's a good, a well thought out character for how he's interacted with the story so far. I really appreciate it. To clarify the counterpart machine on Jananen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so this one goes claw machine in this corner like that. And this one is um, the glasses, but, but changed. So glasses and this goes around, but not there. There, there it is. There it is. There's the door is open. That's just one door. That's just one door. That's just one door. I'm going to save real quick because something happened. But there's a whole other uh, thing to solve. There's a whole other thing to solve. I saved. I saved. I knew you were going to tell me to. Based, I knew it. I knew you were going to tell me to. It feels like a trap to go out there and not do anything with this one. You know what I'm saying? We already have the answer for this. Why not try to solve it, right? Why not do both? <laughs>
<laughs> I came here for bad character designs, bad voice acting, horrible acting, and woman. Um, is there a missed game that's like that? This one's pretty good. Appreciate that. What's going on, Ice Kitane? Long time no see. I am loving Savido. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I saved. So we have a save where we could just like stroll out here, uh, which feels sketch. Uh, it feels um, wrong when we've got this whole other one to solve. So let's flip the switch over this way. Don't do the puzzle yet. Walk around, says Oz. Okay. I mean, we saved, so we can always revert. We can always revert. Let's flip this back. This opens the door. We'll walk around the skosh. What is going on here? Hi. Hello. You're pretty. Oh, why'd the music get all eerie? Oh, look at all these like weird floaty uh, head neurology things going on out there. That's kind of creepy, right? This is the way that looks like you should be able to go through and you literally can't open it. They give you a whole other way to go through. I don't want to click on this. I feel like if you click in, maybe you'll you'll go somewhere. But maybe we will not in a hot second. It does look like a trap. Man, if Mist Man had legs for kicking, I would kick it down. But I feel like that's dangerous. Hey, look, it's a book to Tamana. That seems super dangerous. We've unlocked a path for this guy. And uh, if we open this door and go through the book, he'll go through the book too. Maybe we'll get a bad ending. Do you guys want to see a bad ending before I continue on? Like, I super feel like there's a bad ending waiting to happen there. Also, though, here's like the missing words, huh? Oh, there's a whole bunch of words here. What the hell? There are so many words here. Resurrect, rebirth. There's a lot of words here that are like very positive. Flow and elevate. Sacrifice. This is like the whole the whole other part of the language that they uh, held back that maybe Savidro didn't see these words. And so he's like, oh, they're all like, I don't know, not that great. These words are like much more positive, I feel. Miss Man uses his limited teleportation. That's pretty much all he can do. He's like Nightcrawler, only not blue and short. Well, I guess Nightcrawler short. And his teleport only bamps him like three feet forward. <laughs> Another stream, long puzzle. We'll see. That one didn't take me like a whole hour, did it? Probably some words on the tapestries he's wearing. Oh, could be. <laughs> Let's go back and knock on his door. Hey, I need I need to look at your clothes up close real quick, my friend. Do we take bets on whether you win on your first try? Well, I was considering touching this book, even though Savita warned me and like losing on my first try. I mean, like deliberately to see what happens if you don't heed his warning. He definitely said any book that you take if you open them, you you can't... If you open the door, you can't close the door behind you. Like, that's a threat, right? So this would definitely be a bad ending. I would feel. Uh, is Savedra wearing that torn down tapestry? Oh my gosh! He is, isn't he? Did he spawn in here with no clothes? And he's just like, I am just gonna wear some words. <laughs> I can't win? Well, I could try to lose and see what happens. I can just go to the Tamana book. First, since we saved, I want to see, can we ride in this wonderful thingy? Will this go for us? Is there no clicky on this? Why are you able to hop in? What a tease. I bet you that's, this is what you power with the other um the other glyph you power this and then you can take it for a ride how how unfortunate i wanted to just hop in and it would go i think i'm gonna go with the swears today <laughs> i i picked up swear words in mother one and i never used them i feel maybe or i feel um like I got short changed, I should have gone back and seen what happens if you try to use the swear words. It's a ship, but where's the water? It's like enshrouded. Oh my god. Wait, why Scotland forever? Okay, we're gonna try the book. I have a feeling it's gonna be the negative ending, but I wanna see. I wanna see what happens. Do you guys wanna see what happens? You don't have to answer. We'll just go do it. Grab the book. Oh, well, we could just hold the book 
and then take it with us. Can we just take the book with us? Let's save. I got your book. That's what we're going to call this one. All right. Um, so then let's do the thing you're not supposed to do, which is now that we saved, touch the book. It's Tomana where you start the game. Stealing books, are we? I mean, Atris sent me. I basically, you know, his lackey. I'm just giving him uh, his book back. Oh, no, wait. I can't take the book. I'm just going to go in the book. Stealing from the library. I think I think Sabidro stole this book then, didn't he? All right. Let's go in and um, completely screw over Atris. Savedo's gonna follow right behind me and just like murder everyone. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Oh my god. I'm kind of excited to see a, a, a failure. You've returned! Atrus, Atrus, come quick! The fire burned the linking book you used. We had no way of following and thought. You've returned. Where's Relisha? Oh my. He brought the hammer. <laughs> what a quick ending. We didn't get to see any of it. He bashed us first. You failed to save Relation. I know. I know. <laughs> Just try again. Wait, why did it take you way back there? Try again takes you so far back. Would you like to save your current game? Hell no. I got your book is where we're loading. What the heck? Can you believe it? It tried to take you all the way back to um, Jananan. No, thank you. This game definitely compensates for Miss One's limited inventory, right? And there's so many things I thought I wanted to pick up in um, Riven and were not pick upable. So for this game to have like crazy good inventory system, it's about time. Imagine losing. I like imagining losing. That's why I. That's why I do what I do. <laughs> All right, can we? Oh man, why does it do that? Can we um, go to go to like let's let's do let's do like that. We'll do some screenshots here. More screenshots of more pages. I know this is getting out outlandish and ridiculous, but or not pages, tapestries. You can't um you can't see these ones very well though. Not nearly as well. And then how do we get to those last two so that they're viewable at the same time? You just can't. You just really can't. We we'll have to do these in two separate chunks. We'll do this one, and then we'll do. How do we get to that that one on the screen? Oh, I guess just this way. Back up and see it this way. Okay, so we got all those. Those are all in. Snip and sketch. And the stranger couldn't think to use the book over the pit. Yeah, that would be smart. You would teleport to safety. He probably just not that agile. He would hold the book over the pit and then just drop it because he's so bad at what he does. <laughs> Looks like you got a long way back up. Oh, you've got save points. Thanks, Paste. Appreciate you telling me to save. <laughs> Savidra would go on to be convicted of the first mass hammering in New Mexico history. <laughs> Is that where you think they live? New Mexico? <laughs> Don't. Yeah. All right. So we have the book. We've got more um, codes. And we're going to walk in here and we're going to try this other thing. But if we close this and we can't go out to the boat, then what's the what's this other code even going to do? I don't know, but we've got to put it in. We've got to put a, put a code in here. It's a trap. It could be a trap. 
Uh, let's see. So the last one has to be balance system stimulate civilizations. And we don't have any of those words down just yet. I don't want to. I'm going to flip through all of my thingies. Let's see if I can find them all here. Uh, balance systems stimulate civilizations. Are they all down below? Oh, civilizations right there. Okay, cool. Uh, let me pull up my paint. Start a new one here. Civilization is choop, 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 choop. And then feet. It's got feet. It looks like a bug. It's a bug with long antennae. Whoops. Yeah. Kind of curvy like that. Okay, so that's... That is uh, Civ. Civilization. Balanced systems. Stimulate. Balanced systems stimulate. Balance system stimulate. Look at that. None of the other words up here. They're all down below, aren't they? That's fine. We got our way down. Whoops. We got to flip this. We'll just walk down. I, I took maybe too many snip and sketches, and now I'm, like, regretting my decision <laughs> to use them that way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, um, balance is there. So balance looks like uh, just a big backwards S. Balanced system. 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 It's like leaves and vines. And then last one is stimulate. <laughs> oh yeah. What stimulate look like? Oh, it's this last one up here. Uh, looks like a weird umbrella to me. We got those. Then we've got a loop in that comes up and a loop up that comes down. Sure. We'll give it a shot. So Vader would go on... I mean, you've locked yourself in. I did lock myself in. I trapped myself. Savita would go on to be a mass murderer. Then he will die while trying to rob a toy store during a thunderstorm. <laughs> Oh, poor Savidro. <laughs> At least he'll have a lot of sequels. He'll be able to keep coming back and back and back. He even gets married. He, he lives, you know, he gets married again because he had a wife in um, in this world. Uh, Narayan. And then he gets married again in Bride of Chucky. <laughs> he has his own Netflix series? Damn. Amazing. There's one version of canon in which Tomana is in New Mexico, but that doesn't really matter for this game. What the heck? Weird. Even Maxwell was inspired by his deeds that day. <laughs> What's up, Rico? <laughs> Watching and not talking. Um, that's fine. You can. You don't have to type. Or are you talking about me? Don't you forget about me. Love that song lucky guy uh if, if you met his wife i don't know if you'd say that his second wife some streaming service at least oh, okay interesting does that actually like say like a chucky series that we're talking about i'd be cu i'd be curious to check it out i don't usually do horror series i like i like a two-hour romp and then i like it to be over i usually don't like sequels but I'd be interested if Chucky has his own series. Okay, so balanced systems stimulate civilizations. From what I understand, from what I think, it's top, right, bottom, left, like clockwise, starting at 12. Is what I think it is. What I think it is. So we're going to check right now. Um, balanced 
is like a big old funky S. There's the S. Systems is this um, leaf with the vine sort of thing. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balance systems. Stimulate was the like weird umbrella. And then this came down and this came out. Yeah, that's the umbrella. Uh, civilizations, that was the worm. Or worm, the uh, bug, right? So we got that for the antennae, and then this was its body, and then it has legs. Boom! Got it. Oh, what's that? Why is... Did I just... Bro, did I just take down the shield? Bro, what's up? Hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I did it. We did it. They're alive? Maybe. How did you... Yeah, what's up, buddy? Can I read the symbols on your robe now? Are we friends now? What is he seeing? So in other words... You can only leave. It gives me hope or you can destroy me. You can only leave when the shield is up. But then you can't leave. Well if you put it right in the middle. What are you looking at me for? You see. I still have something that he wants. Yeah? Something that he sent you. To bring back for him. Okay. Release you. Okay. So you go. You go. Give me. Drop the, the outer barrier when I'm out by the gondola. Switch the shield so oh. the outer barrier is open. Oh. And in return, I'll give up release <laughs> Interesting. What a twist. Do it. <laughs> Just do it, he seems to say. Do I get my cursor back or what? Oh, I'm saving. Um, do we like him? I can't put add, I can't add question marks. <laughs> we'll save it. Just call it. Do we like him? We'll we'll pause for the uh, for the folks in um. Twitch ads right now for those of you that are stuck. He is impressed and jealous that you are a player. You are the player, the main character. Feel like that's the case, right? He's like, I've been trying to solve that for years and I couldn't solve it. Like, yeah, well, you weren't. You didn't have. Didn't he have the journal? He had the journal that I was reading too. What the heck? I don't know. We'll wait for ads. Uh, saving time. You've reached a checkpoint. You got ads. AI oh, never get ads. And you're on Twitch. Impressive. I mean, if you ever feel like ads are... I'll wait. I'll actually wait to say that until everybody's back from ads. Walk to that human. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, my, my first interest is to, is to go up and see what would happen if we, uh, if we chatted up. But I also kind of want to do what he says and see what happens. I feel like it would trap me. <laughs> Which uh, seems like the wrong ending. But I kind of want to see if we have a few wrong endings. I kind of want to see them along the way. You know what I mean? Okay, you back. He no clips into you. Oh, gross. Which would be funny. We could try that out. We just saved. What I was saying is if... Uh, if you're ever on Twitch and you're feeling down because you're getting stuck with ads, you could always watch on YouTube. That is always that is always an option for you. Is is the YouTube's? Um, yeah, 
YouTube uh, right now is, I think, completely adless viewing. Everybody who's watching me on YouTube, you can um, agree or disagree. It is true. YouTube does have a delay. Uh, I can I can flip encoders and I can make YouTube the primary uh, streaming source, but Twitch has been so good to me. You guys have been awesome, and I kind of want to keep you as like the main encoder for a while. His inability to figure out the fourth sentence is a plot hole. It's a description of his own world in his own language. And yes, he did briefly have the journal, right? Journal. He's got the, the, the sentences are all in bold. <laughs> I mean, if that's a canon, technically. I don't know. It does seem like he should have had everything he needed to solve this, right? Twitch is cool. Delete Twitch. YouTube is epic. Oh, uh oh, we got a fight. We got a fight going on. All right, can we just come out here and chat you up? What's he doing? What's he doing right now? What? Go back inside and drop the powder barrier. Why are you so mean? Do it. I swear I this into If you do that, then I'm not going to help you. I have the key of power right now. What are you waiting for? Drop I can't walk the to outer him. shield, or I swear I will let go of this book. There's no walk. I tried. But there's that. It gave me my, my inventory for half a second. Do you feel like I could do something with my inventory? Tackle him to the floor? Maybe I could. You want to try loading this again? What, what did we do? Oh, do we like him? That's what it was. I don't think you can attack him. Let's try doing what he asks you to do and see what happens there. But uh, we could also go up into his room and see what's going on there. This is a chase scene, so you know, run for your life. <laughs> I don't believe anything you have to say. Let's try, let's try the thing that seems like the worst option. This seems like the worst. As we drop this, shields down. He's in the gondola. What's up, buddy? Apparently, it's my turn to live up to my end of the bargain. But you won't. What a loser. I knew it. He really is a bad guy. We don't like him, right? Just kidding moment. Yeah, I love how he like pantomimes like he's going to slide it through the door just to stick it to you. Oh, interesting. You can keep playing from this point. So maybe... That was what you're supposed to do. Let's get yourself well and truly stuck. Well, let's go into his room now that it's probably unlocked and ready for us. And, uh, and what is, why is this place so pink? Is it supposed to be pink? He seemed happy when the shield was down that maybe everybody was still cool. That maybe everyone was still alive. This place looks gross, honestly. I know it look, looked like leaves when everything was blue, but now that it looks pink, it just looks like a bunch of like brains and cerebral spinal fluid and stuff. <gasps> he kept the door locked? Oh, that jerk. All I wanted was to see in his own private thingy. Restart cotton candy. Uh, it could be cotton candy. I don't want to restart just yet. I'm just gonna keep, uh, looking around a little bit and seeing what I can see. It's interesting that they would maybe give you a world in which he crossed you, but you're totally trapped and still able to play. Or what if you come over here and the book's just like right there and you could just grab it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, peace. Enjoy your life on your dying home world. I'm just going to take this book back. Or you could write um, your own word in the book. 
your own sentence and then do your own sort of magic as well. That would be interesting. There's so many options, though. How would you know what to pick? I've always been torn about this double cross aspect of his characterization. I would think he would be actually grateful. It did sort of sound like there was a part of him that kind of wanted to explore the idea that maybe he and Atris could make bygones, let bygones be bygones and come together to rebuild the world. But then he quickly shows that there's a cynical side of him that um, thinks that Atris is not powerful enough to do anything to make it make a difference especially given the way he raised his sons i kind of believe that uh you know savidro wouldn't have faith in him and so i guess the double cross kind of makes sense it's a little bit mean-spirited and it kind of doesn't serve any reason except to you know uh punch you while you're down sort of thing or to like get one last feeling of vengeance out of savidro but yeah it's um I'm I'm torn too. I, I can see it going both ways as either being reasonable characterization or kind of dumb. <laughs> One failure of the game is that it doesn't properly prepare you for what he saw that gave him so much hope. It's explainable but not intuitive. Yeah, he looked out and saw the same thing he's ever seen, but with the shield down and said they're alive, but you can't see how or why about what he means yeah uh -huh. so let's see I don't know that there's anything to do from here maybe this is a complete dead end what we can do and save it here and call it dead end I can't put a question mark. I should. I wish I could. And then we'll go back. We just saved it. Do we like him? And we'll try one more thing, which is just to get away. Like, what if we just peace out and leave him alone? Can I get through his door? He still leaves his door locked in this. Or can we just walk past him and down here? Maybe he doesn't even care that we do. Or we could try the linking book. That's true. We could. Should we try it in front of him? Or like away from him? Whoops. Well, that was my bad. <laughs> uh, let's load. <laughs> Do we like him? Oh, from the dead end save. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot we had that. Of course, we still have the book. Can we use the book here? Does this give you the bad ending again? I'm just curious. Like, he already knows his uh, civilization is saved. So would he come here and try to kill everybody if he was, if he knew his people still lived? Maybe he'd still be you mad. Atris, Atris, this might still be the same ending. The fire burned the linking book you used. We had no way of following and thought. We've returned. Where's Relisha? This is like that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll load. Dead end. Boop, boop, boop. Walk past him, you mean teleport four feet at a time like you're moving at one frame per second. <laughs> if you look through the barrier, you see in the foreground the one city with just branches. Further back, not visible through the barriers, another city with a different look. Okay, interesting. All right, so let's, um, let's go back to Tamana now that he's gone and see what's going on here. This is so unpretty out here, but inside of this home is quite pretty. I don't like Badlands places very much. What? <laughs> I didn't get any ending here. Just, you failed. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, that one's not that one's not a viable ending either. You just walk one step forward and it gives you the game over screen.
The different look means the population is keeping up with the ritual weave and thus is healthy. Oh, okay. Interesting. Don't say that. You're going to love it. What? Relation? I mean, I only got to see it for one screen and then <laughs> the game over sign came up. Go back to do we like him? Are you are you leading me? Load. Don't save. Load. Okay. He's back there. If we go out there and talk to him, he gets pissed. We could um we could change the words, do the main quest. The main quest is save relation. Re relation? However they really pronounce it. Um Unfortunately, Narayan health looks like a lot of pink pustules, which really doesn't say health to us. Obviously, you know, different strokes for different folks, but um, yeah, we could turn this off, but I don't know that that would necessarily make him upsetty spaghetti to turn off the power for no good reason. He'd just come back up here and turn it back on again. Um... There was like one hot quick second when he was accosting us that we had control of our uh, cursor. I don't know that clicking on him necessarily does like a combat maneuver, but we could give it a shot or try to give him a book, his journal and give that a shot. What are you doing? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Clicking on you is what I'm doing. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Do it. Click him. Or click his book. You're not going to drop it. This this playthrough. What? Even trying things Are you think you won't work? For? Okay. Drop the outer shield or I swear. I'm going to get This man's going to try combat right now. Go, go, go. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, I didn't get my cursor this time. It popped up with my inventory, but it didn't pop up with my cursor. I had my cursor for a hot second. Teleport away? I didn't have a cursor to do that. Feel the wrath of the band hammer. Mist becomes first person shooter, but with books. Imagine you go in your inventory, you're like, hacha, hacha, hacha. If you give him, uh, well, if you give him Tamana, he basically wins. If you give him his journal, maybe you make him cry. He's like, my journal, the fog is lifting. I'm, I'm happy again. What if we talk to him through here? Can we give him, whoops. Can we give him items safely from here? Can we not, wait, can we not pull things up from here? No, literally, they don't work as actual inventory items. I thought maybe you could... Because these, these other pages, you can pull up. Take a page. Take a page. What if we grab him through the bars and choke him? We hold him against the, the thing. Click, 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 click. I'm clicking at you. I'm clicking. No, we can't click on him. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are our other options? Stand over here. Will he get mad? He's just staring down. That's pretty creepy. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. The books are a waste of inventory space. Hey, if I could toss them at him right now, I would. Pacha, pacha, pacha. Hop in the boat and just leave. I don't know. If I touch him again, I go through that whole cutscene, which I could skip, but if I skip, I might miss the opportunity to do something in it. 
Can I take, what if I take down one of these banners and wear it like clothes and I come up mocking him? I'm like, I'm Savidro. I like my wife and then I lose my mind to the fog and I want to kill Atreus even though it's not his fault, it's his son's fault, but I have bad projection issues. Um, I don't know, man. What if you could come up here and drop something on him like an anvil? Just be like, yo, Savidro up here, and then pew, and then he's done. I don't think we have that option. I could see him from up here. Can we just turn off the power? Boop. You're gonna hate me for this. Now you're locked out, aren't you? Savidro is mad at himself again. He's having a rough day. He's having a rough day. <laughs> Think about what you haven't tried, not doing things you have already tried. You got you got him to you've got him to time? What? Still trying his door. I still want to see what it's like inside of there. Just to see another bad ending, turn it back on. Oh, sure. We can do that. Save. He's, he is too sad. <laughs> That's what we'll call this one. <laughs> so we'll turn it back on and make him happy again. I like looking at the bad endings. <laughs> As he like wields his hammer and looks at you. Oh, 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 where am I gonna go? Over this way. Oh, he's here. It doesn't even sound like that bad of a clack. Just like he kind of pats you on the shoulder. You failed. Um, he is too sad. That was the one. <laughs> that was funny. New ending, he becomes goth and emo. <laughs> Oh, I felt the wrath. He ban hammered us hard. All right, let's go down and have a chat with him. What's up, buddy? How are you feeling? Sheepish? You feeling sheepish? Oh, God. No. Please don't do this to me. I already did. Not when my family could still be alive out there. Yeah? What are you going to... Want the book? Yeah. Want the book. Okay, thanks. Just... Please. Please. Don't do this. You're kind of a bad egg, though. I can't do this again with his fog please don't leave me trapped here like this i can't no 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 feel bad for him but he's also pretty violent and mean Sneaky. Does a lot of bad things. And that fog, do we trust do we trust him? He is too sad, but we'll save over this. Do we trust him to get his family back? What if the fog takes him again and he does something wrong to his family? Right? Do I want some McDonald's? I don't really crave McDonald's. And I'm fasting, so eh, I'm okay. <laughs> he has an amazing willingness to bite the hand that feeds him. Yeah, that's that's the one part about him that's kind of like a little fallacious. I've I've seen it before, but it it, it makes him feel a little dumb. 
a little on the dumber side. Mist Man may uh may may uh weak as fuck, but he's very smart. I mean, somewhat smart. I keep reversing time because I do the dumb things just to see what happens. <laughs> Chewing up the scenery. Do we let him go? I want to let him go and then see what happens, but I'd probably like keep him trapped and and then just leave. Oh, gotcha. It's Tissa Vitro. <laughs> Maybe it would make him happier. Um, yeah, I feel like step one is give him his family and see what happens because I feel like it's kind of a bad ending. And then step two is leave him trapped. And then because Atris could always deal with him, which Atris would probably deal with him in a really bad way. Can we do this? Does that save him? Oh, right. This thing's completely powerless, isn't it? Would he get mad and try to attack me again? Even though... Like, we did... We did the right thing. There, there's your family. You gave me the book. Are we cool? That seems like a peaceful gesture. Taking the boat. I feel like this is the like right thing to to do like in 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 your own head. But then when you take in all the factors, we're sending like a really crazy guy back to a people that have lived without him for a long time. This could be particularly dangerous to them. Oh yeah, that place is thriving over there. Yeah, this feels like slightly less right than to leave him trapped and let Atris figure it out. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. So then we could also go to Tamana now. Or, um... Relishan? Or can you not open this book? Oh, gotcha. Give him a happy meal. Yeah, he needs it. He can't get back in, can't get past the barrier. Oh, right, 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 right. I love this guy's acting. He's he's done a fantastic job as Savidro. This is really, really good. <laughs> and yeah, I love just the idea of everyone starts screaming. He just goes mad. The fog takes over his mind again, and he just goes on a hammer spree. <laughs> Then he finds out his wife is actually dead or remarried. Probably remarried because he was gone for 20 years. I never even heard of the idea that this ending culminates in Orion mass hammering. That's pretty dark. <laughs> well, we'll see how this one goes. If this one's not the, hap the happiest ending, um, I, would, I think I would understand. But I could also see this one being the happiest ending. We'll find out. 50-50 about it. That said, you make a reasonable point. <laughs> All right, let's take one step and probably hop into a cutscene. Zoop. Hello again. Hi, Vanika. You've returned. Atrus, Atrus, come quick. The fire burned the linking book you used. We had no way of following the whole... You've returned. But where's Relisha? Did you bring back the book? Oh, I got your book. Finding out his wife remarried would probably drive him to a hammer spree. Oh yeah. If the fog didn't. Make it. It's fine. See. We're in your debt, my friend. If this book had been destroyed. Everything we worked for. All the people of Relishan would have been lost to us forever. You must tell us everything. Oh, I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you how Narayan is a mass murderer in it now. Oh, hi. At last I can rejoice, for Relishan has been returned to me unharmed. The age I hoped would provide a new beginning still lives on. I'm sure that no danger shall befall it. And as I sit here writing in this journal, I rejoice to know that Narayan too is safe. The secrets of its past have been unlocked, and old wrongs have finally been Aww. I know now that we can't escape the past. 
nor can we rewrite it, hoping to lessen our pain. The best we can hope for is to continue to learn, to take from the past only that which is good. It sounds like the most right. Perhaps in the process, we will build a brighter future. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, he said wronging the rights of the past. I feel like he feels really bad about um, Savidro, too. Here's the leader, Natris. I'm fine, by the way. Yeah, he doesn't even check on you. If I make you do triple self-care, will you get mad at me? It's there for a reason, yo. Thank you. I actually do need hydration and stretch breaks periodically, so I appreciate you doing it. Momo! Momo underscore Kelly just subscribes. Thank you, Sam. I love it. Momo is one of our faves. Momo and Patchy are Final Fantasy XIV players in my free company, and we love them. And they're also Mandarin speakers. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you. We'll also, we'll also take a look at the ending where we don't free Savidro. It does seem a little bit crueler, but we're also... What now? I can't save the game right now. Can I pause the... or stop the credits though? Or should, should we even... Oh! There it goes. Yeah, you can't save the game here. So I'm going to load the game. We're going to see the ending um, if you leave Savidro trapped and, uh, you know, Atrus has to deal with it and see how it differs. And then um, and then I will figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Appreciate you all for being here. It's been super cool. I really dig. Uh, I really have have mad respect for Amateria uh, Jananen itself and uh, and this last area uh, Narayan. The puzzles have all been really cool. Idana is like, whatever. I still feel kind of bitter about how they hid some of the pathing and made it hard for you to get around. And I super don't like, um, Voltaic. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll pause for Twitch to come back. We'll, we'll start that, um, the other ending. Do we like him or was it there? He is too sad. Oh, I think it's he is too sad. We'll load that one. So he's there. He's stuck. We could um, we could lower the gates for him. But what we're just going to do is leave him all, all alone. Sad. From up here, because I don't want him to get I don't want to have any idea that he could reach the book at all. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll hang tight for a second. Wait for everybody to get back. Also, probably should close all of these um, snippet sketch windows. That was a lot of windows all at once. Yeah, the music has been pretty fantastic. Art design, really great. Um, just the whole world building and everything. All the lore has been really good. It really reminded me of the first game. I feel like some of the lore in Riven was good and some of it was kind of, I don't know, just whatever. Uh, I, I feel like Riven was kind of a weaker point between Mists 1 and 3. 1 and 3, the, the writing for all the journals and everything was a lot... I feel like just better than Riven. Riven wasn't bad, and I did like the lore dumps, but these, uh, this one and one were were both better. Totally didn't get burned by lava, almost eaten by a flower, get whiplash on a roller coaster, and threatened with a hammer in those ages of yours. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I probably won't start Mist Four because we're so close to the end of the night that um, I don't I don't want to have it like at the tail end of one stream and then have the beginning of the next stream be oh yeah hey guys welcome we already played like maybe half an hour 45 minutes of, of this game to start with so starting on next saturday 
we will definitely do um, Mist Four Revelations, but we'll at least see this one other ending for this game here tonight, and then we'll figure something else out. I got my first ad. Oh, congratulations. You got me just a little bit of uh, ad revenue for that. Thank you very much. He'll learn to love Tomana. Oh, well, if we're going back to Tomana, you've got an hour. Uh, I mean, if I stay the whole hour too, perhaps. While I like mystery quite a bit, the ending is disquieting. Basically, the moral is when you find a torture victim, don't help him, force him to grovel on the floor and then help him. Yeah, that's true. Like. We we helped him, we got double crossed. We didn't help him. And then well we're gonna try to like fully not help him right now and see what happens. Uh but yeah, it seems like you sort of force him to become docile and then that's the right ending, right? Which feels a little bit weird. Bad ending or good? We're gonna find out right now what this ending's gonna be. We're just gonna go take the book and leave him alone. Later bo. The streamer of Oz just subscribed. Well, well, well. Thank you, anonymous gifter, for the gift sub to Oz. Oz, congratulations on not having to sit through ads on my streams. And you get to use my emoji in all those places. By the way, for those of you that aren't subbed and are on the fence about it, I hand make all of my own emoji. That's, that's my stuff right there. So enjoy, take it, use it in other communities, the whole shebang. Yeah. Good stuff. Yes. Like the Yaranaika face. <laughs> With my facial hair on it. <laughs> Give me a free sub. I can't I don't have those powers. I do not have the powers to to uh hand out sub. Yeah. Okay. Let's go check in. This seems like this would make the most sense. You're not saying no to Savidro. You're just handing over the fate of Savidro to Atris, which for all purposes in this uh, world so far, my skepticism aside, most people I feel believe Atris is like the good guy of this world and are not secretly making a, a conspiracy theory about how he's the worst person in the whole world. All right, let's see what they have to say. We've changed things. By the maker, you've returned. Atrus, Atrus, come quick! The fire burned the linking book you used. We had no way of following the whole... You've returned. But where's Relisha? Did you bring back the book? Oh, I got your book. I'm fine, by the way. was burnt they couldn't follow and fix it uh, yeah. and so here we go as I once again set my pen to the page part where something might change sorrow hangs over me it's true that Relishan has been returned to us unharmed but the age I wrote to provide a new beginning is secure but I can't escape the facts of its return nothing I can do will change the past the anguish of decisions that were made must be carried with me for Oh. But if I had been the one to face Savidro, if I had seen the life my sons destroyed so callously, would I have left him stranded without hope? Wow. Would I have sacrificed his dreams to claim my own? Wow. Yeah, I guess they couldn't have come back to try to fix it. Now I just gave Atris a life of regret. That definitely was the bad ending. Or one of the bad endings. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Atris. Welcome, welcome to your life of regret. That he deserves, honestly. That in my opinion, that's still kind of the better. The better story. Is let him face what he did to those people. Book of magic. 
I think most people don't realize what you just said. Yes, Atris should be able to visit Savidro via the Jananan descriptive book. Yeah. Shouldn't you also be able to write a new book into existing age? Do they have that kind of power? It, seems, it feels like they should have that kind of power. Miss Man is OP. I am. I lived... Like, this last ending was me living through all of those experiences and then deciding that Atris, being the bad guy he is, deserves the to feel the regret of the actions that he did instead of giving him a carte blanche. Atris's way of dealing with the problematic family members is locking them away in their prison. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! He did bad with his father, he did bad with his sons, he then burnt their books so that you couldn't get to them. Like, all sorts of bad things. And now, like, I'm just following his lead. Atris taught me how to do it this way. You leave people stranded when they treat you bad. If they look like they're going to be a bad egg, you get them locked into some age, and then you leave them there, and then you go on with your life, harboring the regret of what you did. He taught me this way. This, this is like, this should be the canon ending, I think. Yeah? Give mercy. We already did that one. <laughs> Why are the people of Relisha more important than the people of Narayan? Because he's obviously racist. <laughs> it seems like it. Like his father before him. His father only cared about Dunny and was willing to sacrifice a bunch of other ages just to save Dunny. It seems like Atreus cares more about Relisha than he does about other worlds, uh, like test worlds that he built in the meantime. And also just the fact that they can create life and then they don't have any responsibility to shepherding those people. Um, like, that's that's just bad altogether. I feel like whatever race of people uh, that Gen and Atris and, and the kids, like, all of them, there's some race of people that are able to write life in by books and then just do whatever they want with them. They tend to be bad shepherds at what they do. They tend to be bad. Let them regret, but don't let others continue to suffer. Yeah, there should have been an ending where you help out Savidro and then you tell Atris you didn't help him out. You you imprisoned him just like he would have. That would have been an interesting ending, but that's too much nuance for a game of this era, I think. <laughs> I think it would link to a second a second age if one were to write an exact copy of an age. Ugh, that's messy. Now you have clone worlds, things are happening in, yeah, parallel to each other, but not actually touching anything. That would be a problem. Opinions differ on whether two descriptive books can go to the same age. However, uh, well, obviously they have to because uh, there are a whole bunch of Jananan books all over the place. However, the bigger problem is that it's not practice without a copy of the text. Oh, uh, it's like rewriting any book from memory. But these guys have special superpowers when it comes to writing. So maybe, maybe not. They're not creating these worlds. Those are linking books. I thought they they wrote the the worlds into existence, like, or at least wrote the framework and then the world spawned from their framework, that that's part of their magic or something like that. Not actually linking to an existing world, but spawning something from nothing, I thought. Oops, maybe I'm wrong. To be fair, all the other ages his sons had attacked were wrecked, so he probably assumed it was toast. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Rush. Well, come on in. We've beaten Miss 3. You missed it. But it's still in the VODs. You can go, especially if you go to YouTube instead of Twitch, you can watch and give me watch hours there. You have to be on, on the age to write a linking book to the age. Interesting. Is that true? Is that that's part of the, uh, the, the mythos to it? Is you have to actually be there first? That could be a problem then. Maybe that's how he wrote all the Jananan books is he was on Jananan and then just wrote like a dozen books and put them on all these other like test ages. That's what Gen believes. True. Oh yeah, 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 true. Gen believed that. YouTube sponsor? Wait, YouTube sponsor? Where do I have a YouTube sponsor? I didn't see a, a alert for that one. Anyway, that was amazing. That uh, I would, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed all the bad endings just as much as the good ones. Although that very last one 
where you just open the gate after you close it off and then he just runs up and hammers you in the face that one was kind of lame oh yeah and there's the one where you go to um taman or whatever it's called tamana and it just says game over you didn't save relation <laughs> what confuses me the most um uh, so uh do the books do the books link to an existing world that existed before these people wrote the book are they linking to a place that long existed before them do their books have any power over those places at all i thought that they were able to manipulate and control you stop kissing the everything? direction of ah! places <laughs> there's tyra oh, but we're we 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 beat the game <laughs> hey what's on what's going on raiders we have officially beaten miss three that's the end we're done we are done we're just thinking about what we're gonna do uh if i was gonna cut stream earlier do something else for a little bit um but welcome see i told you i'd be here yes 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 welcome and i'm so glad that i caught you live before i started my stream so i could uh toss a live follow whoa, whoa, whoa. thank you rush watch the magic yeah. <laughs> that nefarious okay, laugh. <laughs> I mean, you okay, watch. Chicken's it. back. Chicken. Chicken is back. Chicken is a chicken. Okay. But where's Jazargo though? <laughs> oh, that Poor could guy. be abused. I mean, I get it. So that if you're if you're trying to <laughs> freeze the dog, okay. Uh. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. <laughs> what business do college majors have in a place like Sarthal anyway? Look, it's a place for not dead, not your weird experiments. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hmm, a pupsicle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, if you're not following Tyra, please do. Uh, she's also going through the Mist series. She's a little bit ahead of me and also plays other fun games like Skyrim and does fun uh, shenanigans like that and has a good um, evil supervillain laugh, which I super appreciate. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did I miss in chat? So a descriptive book is the main book. It contains the description of the age. Oh, the linking book references this book. Interesting. Okay. Um, is this game by Ubisoft? It's there's Ubisoft was a part of it. So, yes, it's also Presto Studios. It's also Cyan. It's also I don't I don't know. You all tell in chat. Those of you that really know this uh, franchise who who would you really attribute like the game to? I think Ubisoft dropped the money. You know what I mean? But I, beyond that, I'm not quite sure exactly how, how that all works out. Uh, the other bad endings are just Savito smacking you with the hammer from different <laughs> angles. <laughs> all right, that's fair. In time, you'll learn the difference between linking books and descriptive books. Suffice to say, the task you described would require a descriptive book. Got it. A simple look linking book would not suffice. Interesting. Um, the art does not create ages. The alternative idea is just derivative of Gen's egomania. Oh, gotcha. So when he says that it's possible, it's his his weird like headcanon. Um, yeah, interesting. I figured you'd finish today, and then we did. I'm very excited. I love I loved this game. I did. There are some rough parts like Voltaic and some parts of uh, Idana. But I, th I still think it was pretty good. If you use the slash command for her slash shout out, it'll link a follow button. True. Uh, or you, anybody who's interested can just click on her name in chat. That will also do the same thing. True, 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 true. The dog lagged. <laughs> the dog was going less than one frame per second. <laughs> Boy, I picked a long one this time. No, that's cool. Hey, congrats on finishing five. Barely. It was, uh, it was a slog, huh? Yeah. There's just so many Ubisoft stickers. Yeah, th I don't know why there's a Ubisoft on both sides here and then one down here in the corner. I'm super confused why they have to have their name like all over freaking everything. 
There's an ending in which he beats you to death with the book. What? You have to face him, retreat, and then face him again. Oh, I didn't know you could retreat. I tried clicking uh, to get away from him, but it didn't. I wasn't able to move fast enough. I have nothing much to say, not gonna lie. You're cool. <laughs> Voltaic, least fave. For those of you that really enjoy Voltaic, what is it about that particular age that you like? I'm curious. D, you were my 222nd follower. Amazing. Do I, what do I win for having three twos? That seems like it's an auspicious number somehow for some reason. Amaterio is my favorite. I think Amaterio is my favorite too. It had the best ending. The roller coaster ride victory. Yeah, it was like chef's kiss. And also all the puzzles were like super rational. And I'm not used to that in Myst. I'm used to that in other puzzle games, not in Myst. <laughs> the last age I did in five made me arg. That's the one you didn't see spoilers for earlier. Good. I'm glad I left when I did. I think the cursor works if you click in the opposite direction. I didn't have a cursor is what I'm saying. I, the, I came, came up to his that cutscene where he gets all mad at you for not helping him out twice. And the first time I had a cursor for like half a second, I think I could take it like almost down to my inventory and then I ran out of time. The second time I didn't get a cursor at all. You tried clicking him, but not running away from him. Oh, okay. I could try it again. But um, I think we all know what being beaten by a book looks like, right? Right? We all, we've all experienced that before in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> They need to remake this in VR just for the roller coaster. That would be so cool. This would be a great game for for a VR remake. I would love if after they finish doing Riven, they streamline getting Mist 3 out quick. Because Riven in like a full remaster, it's okay. It's okay. I'm glad I played Mist in remaster. Mist 1 in remaster. But this one would be really cool in remaster. I wish they skipped Riven, <laughs> frankly. You should be able to obey him and then step back uh, through through the vines or like up up to him toe to toe. Oh, did you enjoy the end game language puzzle? I did. I did. I did. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't too hard. I was doing it slowly, deliberately, kind of figured out. Um, what was going on people were sort of n nobody told me what to do but some some folks gave me some subtle like you know don't don't pace around too much i started to kind of look around the the place for visual clues besides the tapestries and uh but in the back of my head i was like i think i have to start reading the books again and then that's when it dawned on me kind of how we had to put it all together and that was just a matter of doing linguistics which i freaking love actually to be perfectly honest i'm gonna nerd out and say i love language and linguistics puzzles so i was uh i was super there for that <laughs> i'm so hyped for the riven remake interesting i i'm of two minds <laughs> i want to see it just because i want to see it but it's my least favorite of, of three played so far I think you can also let Savito go without having gotten Relation. We tried that, but he comes back and attacks attacks you. Like we we got him to the point where he's just waiting for the boat, and then if you give him that without getting Relation. Oh no no no! Wait, if sorry, if he doesn't give you Relation and you let him go. He drops Relation off a cliff. <laughs> cause he's just cause he's bitter. Not cause you did anything wrong to him, just cause he's a jerk. When he gets his way. Yes, I thought you would. Oh yeah. When he tells you to go back to the lever, you should be able to do a 180 and step forward back to the lever. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. There was almost a language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of words there, but I think there's only so many permutations of that that you can go through. And it would get confusing after a while because 
with making a full language out of one glyph that has different on off toggles you'll hit a lot of similar characters i mean if you just watch kids learning their lowercase b's and d's you'd see there's a problem when glyphs are a little bit too similar right so this language has the propensity for really bad um <laughs> learning curve to it oh that's the double cross ending you can go back to atris who then had a sad postscript gotcha i, I might be conflating everything now because we saw so many endings back to back to back tonight that was a lot of fun um yeah i don't know I guess I have a little bit of time, but also if I were to get a little bit of extra sleep tonight, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. That's I think that's probably what I will strategize is trying to get get to bed a little bit earlier. Um, I have a, a physically annoying day tomorrow and uh, a little bit of extra sleep for once in a stream might actually be worthwhile. I definitely am not don't want to start Mist 4 with just a little bit of stream left because it would be such a bummer to everybody that came next Saturday and they're like, yeah, I was hoping to see the beginning uh, part of Mist 4 and oh, I see you already played through the beginning of it. <laughs> and I was up late last night. Like um, we we started to try to help out Nico to get wrong, a rare. Oh, thanks for myself, thing. Palm rat is the mail. We tried to help Nico get a staff, and then things went awry with the game twice. First time around, we all had a weird graphical glitch. Second time around, Lady Nico had a bad graphical glitch, but then we just tried to like power through it and have her catch up. And then we all died to the Cyclops and several times, and it was just like, yeah bad after bad after bad and it kept um protracting the night so yeah it was it was kind of a late night and then um wouldn't you know it my uh oldest older uh clocked me in as parenting all too early first thing this morning so uh i let oz sleep in for three hours before i finally woke her up because <laughs> i needed somebody to have a little bit more energy than me to sort of do some adulting in the day and then she ended up getting food poisoning which is garbage so she had an awful day today i had a taxing day today there was a lot there was a lot so ending stream early might be might not be a bad thing it's a bit disorienting you're hitting the head with the hammer a lot after all <laughs> imagine canonically if mist man every time you loaded the game they had like all of all the memories of what you had in the game that you didn't save or you you know you reloaded from still crammed into their head like just alternate versions alternate paths of the same life by the way i don't know if uh, i've ever shared this on stream and you guys can tell me if you get this too do you ever dream about like alternate versions of your own life like basically anytime there's like a big big serious fork and you chose like oh instead of uh, this job, I get this job, or instead of um, moving here, I, I stayed back at my home state or whatever, or, or instead of dating this person, I dated this person, whatever it happens to be. Do you ever have like big, big fork of opportunity and you chose one path and you always wondered what happened, what would happen if you chose the other path? I get dreams that sort of sometimes navigate and analyze that direction. Sometimes it's really like awkward to wake up from because it's like, maybe it's more idyllic or better than where i am today and you have to shake off the idea that that's a possibility like you can't just unload your current life and reload back at that fork crux and <laughs> try to <laughs> bring things back again yeah 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 um oh yeah i forgot to do the other two-thirds of the self-care thank you oz needs rest too i think oz is oh resting or oz are you in bed oz says come cuddle so yeah, it's probably a good time for me to quit streaming. Are you at least horizontal? Please tell me you're not at your machine. No, not really. I just have weird task completion dreams. Are they the dreams where you never complete the task? I have those every once in a while. I hate it. They're just like highly stressful to wake up from. Like you had a job, you absolutely can't do it. 
you're looking for something or you have this, yeah, really important thing and everything keeps getting derailed. It's just awful. My dreams aren't my choice. Oh, I don't say I tr choose my dreams. I never, if I could choose, I would not dream any of the dreams that I dream. My bad dreams are shit and my good dreams make my real life feel like shit. So everything is shitty. I hate it all. I don't like waking up from a dream, no matter what the dream happens to be. I would rather never dream, honestly. I'd rather have blissful, complete blackout and then just wake up. It's actually an interesting question whether bad endings are canonical. I think they are insofar as they are accurate statements of how people would behave in those hypotheticals. Interesting. That's an interesting take. Yeah, I, I think it would be cool if uh, Mist Man could just keep all of the different forks ongoing in his head. Like somebody who could see potential futures, but actually because he lived them. And so he's like, no, 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 we don't do that. We don't make that choice because I know because I took a hammer to the head when I did. <laughs> Sometimes at work, ugh, that's the worst. The tasks are happening at work, ew. I have dreams about, I, I've worked a lot of really much worse jobs than the current one I have, and I have dreams about like having to go back to one of those jobs sometimes. That's really, really gross. I've been in bed the whole time. I haven't turned my computer on at all. Good, that makes me happy, kind of. I mean, I'm glad you're doing some R and R. <laughs> so bad dreams are shit. Good dreams are too good. And it makes you feel like shit. So why sleep? Now you get it. That's why I'm a sleep abolitionist. I think we should all just sleep the minimum for survival and nothing more than that. And try your best to never dream. You know what? While I'm at it, why dream while you're awake either? I hope you know I'm being sar sarcastic, right? Okay. <laughs> Most other people have a much better relationship with sleep, dreams, and, um, and and goals and ambitions. No, I have big goals and ambitions, actually. that's I have a good, healthy relationship with my goal mindset. Yeah. Uh, I would legit dream work all night, then have to wake up and go to work. Ugh. That makes me feel sour. That's awful. I don't have a job now, so that doesn't happen anymore. I just get random task things now. Maybe better. But yes, nightmares about being back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had nightmares about having to go do service jobs again that I just I couldn't fathom doing again. Never again. All right. Yeah, we are going to uh, call it just just a scotia. Ah, ah, should, should I save the game? Base, do I need to do I need to save right now? What should I call the save file? What, what are we gonna do? Just kidding. Just kidding. Save the game. Oh heck, an ad. Yeah, now you're getting ads. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, um, this has been a lot of fun some people are an ad so we'll, we'll wait for them to come back before we completely close off everything but i'll go ahead and uh say um i'm really enjoying the experience of this week some of you found me through mist some of you found me through um the mother series of games which i'm so in love with to be perfectly honest <laughs> but um however you found me I hope you're finding that it's a good fit. I hope you're enjoying yourself and having a good time. I am. Um, I know there's a number of people. I, I watched this happen. There's a number of people who originally found me as a YouTuber when I started basically, you know, giving giving the world something about Game of Thrones that had never existed before. Handcrafted with my own spare time. And then I ran out of spare time and a lot of other things happened that stopped me from kind of doing that. And so if you are here for like old YouTube version of me, I apologize that, you know, while I've tried to bring, uh, find ways to bring it back, it's taking a while. Um, I hope that you're cool with this live stream version of how things are going. Cause I think we're putting together a really cool tribe here. And I really want to get 
crazy momentum going. I have a master plan. If you guys don't know about it, if you haven't heard about this, there's this whole master plan to switch places with Oz and have her in the workforce, which we both super, super want. And, uh, and to mitigate the um, inevitable drop in income because of the uh, industry that she wants to get into um, by me going uh, full-time streamer, which would be great. So if we can get the full-time streamer thing going, then we can probably make the switch between us as far as breadwinning. And uh, yeah, it's a big goal and dream of ours. A good dream. A dream that I have when I'm awake, not one that I have when I'm asleep. And the growth that I've seen in 2024 so far, I I feel more and more confident that we're on the way to something really big. So um, keep watching. Appreciate all of you, all of your interactions, all of your feedback, your input help me out with this i don't have a marketing degree i don't have like an online content creator degree or anything like that so you know if there's stuff that you know that you think i should be doing help navigate the business or whatever yeah let's uh let's make something amazing shall we i realized the other day i worked mostly customer service jobs for 30 years so no wonder i'm over it jeez yeah i mean at some point it gets hardwired in your synapses and then of course it's going to come back and haunt you in your dreams no more. I'm the customer now. There you go. And I bet you're a way better customer, though, than half the people I've seen. Man, here, around here, customer service, uh, jobs, like, I feel like they get treated so badly. It was have so many bad customers in my area. So many unkind and un impolite people. Beautiful stream. How old are you? I never dox my age because it's summer between... 500 and a thousand and i don't want people to know exactly what era i was raised into immortality because it doxes a lot of my family line and like the um the crypt and everything like people might start exhuming my relatives and that sort of thing so i just don't talk about it but i'm ancient yeah truly ancient i've been trying to get a full-time streaming get full-time streaming for three years it's hard yeah i've been doing this for three yeah a little over three years on twitch alone i only started live streaming on youtube and kick at the beginning of 2024 i've been youtuber since 2014 so 10 years and um you know youtube maybe about uh just just shy of 2k right now twitch just past 300 like i'm small but uh but i'm small but ambitious yeah so I'm looking forward to uh, it's, I'm looking forward to us sharing the spotlight in big ways in the near future. I am such a good customer. I knew it. I knew it. Dusty old bones. Yeah, these bones are um, they're basically I just have powder in in um, I use tubes like brass tubes to uh, hold my body together. And I just poured the powder of my bones down those tubes so that there'd be some organic material of me still in there is the linking material, but I'm mostly just made of brass skeleton. You can write that down. That's canon now. Yeah. I assume you're over one years old. I procreated. So, yeah. Although I could have done that through the uh, vampiric ritual of sirehood. And maybe that's how I have kids, is that they're also little vampire coquettes. Yeah, it could have happened that way. So maybe I don't have to be over one you're such a fork you old man what is a fork oh i think you meant dork and you uh got auto corrected to the wrong thing all right does anybody on uh twitch have anyone you'd like to raid if not i'll probably just call it i have a few folks but i also kind of want to just get a hard out um every once in a while i just uh end stream so if anybody doesn't have anyone particularly they're in love with, then raid myself. Then I'll have to stay up longer. Swipe can eat my dick. <laughs> yeah, swipe can be bad sometimes. I had, I've had some bad experiences. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to just call it for the evening. So what happens from here? I take a break. I've got a break. I got to I got to do breaks every once in a while. So, uh you won't see me again until if you're watching me on Saturday, you won't see me again until next Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be a discourse topic. What are discourse topics? We do deep dives. Could be 
It's a running gag now. I love it. What a what a troll. In a, in a good way. I'll keep you around, Beast. I like you. Quick save. Okay. There. We saved. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Wednesdays, deep dives. They can be political. They can be philosophical. They can be psychological. They can be religious. Stuff that people are uncomfortable about talking. Sometimes that is the topic. So fair warning. Uh, it's mitts off, and uh, and if we do have racists pop in the chat again, I will ban them. But uh, generally, you know, they can they can get spicier, they can get dark, and sometimes, like last one, we we're talking about like depressive situations, and we got into some you know heavy shares. Some people were pretty willing to get into the thick of it. So if that's up your alley, you want some um, cognitive dissonance in your week, and or some extra neurons firing, please visit me on Wednesday. I start all of my streams 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, and I stream for roughly four hours, give or take. Um, but yeah, we do Discourse Topics Wednesday, Retro Games on Thursday. We're doing the Mother Series right now. Enshrouded on Friday, we're doing the Early Access. We're building a crazy mega uh, project right now. And then the Mist Series right now on Saturdays. I'm keeping Saturdays right now sort of open to puzzle games, but um, I'm also being encouraged by a lot of people to go back to my favorite genre of game, which would be horror I do have a few horror games in the um, holster that could be fired off after we get through the Mist series. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear and um, evolve this thing we have going on. All right. Sound good, everybody? Bye, go to bed, bye, 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 bye. Racist and chat. Menstrual cycles go. <laughs> Sync up. If you're bleeding when I'm bleeding, then um, we can be a tribe. Just kidding. I. <laughs> Wait, Rush, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. I love your faces. If you are safe, fed, and loved, make sure someone out there is too. Please. Rush, you're good. I pressed that button too before in other people's streams. I think I did it to Krimi. <laughs> All right. Endangerment, say something quick because I'm definitely going to sleep after you're done saying the thing that you want to say, but I will wait for you to type whatever is super important for you to say, and then I'm definitely going to sleep. So you have the, you have the floor. Oh, I will say it, please, by all means. The next line you type will be the last line that I will read, and then I will go to sleep. So I'm, I'm waiting a second. Subscribe now, says Endangerment. That's true. If you're on YouTube, please like, subscribe. Leave a comment because the comments, uh, you can leave one emoji, literally one emoji in every video and my whole, my whole YouTube thing, it actually affects my algorithm placement and I will appear on mo more people's um, searches. It's true, it does happen. So you can, you can help me grow for free and for very little time effort. You don't have to provide the watch hours. The watch hours are the number one thing I'm missing for partnership with YouTube. But if you just want to like place me in higher algorithm, which will get me to other viewers and those other viewers will also help with the watch hours, et cetera, et cetera, it will help with growth. Yeah, one emoji comment per video will do that. You can also sub, you can also turn on notifications on my channel um, and give me the watch hours on YouTube. Don't give them to me on Twitch or Kick because it doesn't do anything. If you do happen to uh, want to hop in on Kick.com, you can visit me at Kick.com slash Damien Halme. I don't need, to, don't need you to watch there, don't need you to comment, but I do, I am farming for followers because I'm just shy of that one metric on Kick for affiliate. I'm at 15 followers, which means out of the 2K YouTube follower <laughs> subscribers and the 300 Twitch followers, I need a very small margin of you to make a kick profile to tip me over into affiliate there. Twitch, I don't need anything from you, just your love. And I already got that. So I super appreciate you. Just if you're on Twitch, just keep being you because you're amazing. And this year's already been amazing. Super appreciate you guys. Thank you, Endangerment. That's very sweet. I appreciate that. Sounds good. YouTube algorithm is crazy. It's true. I do have I do have some algorithm sense, and uh, you can help with some of that based on those things. Profit, profit goes hard. I mean, 
<laughs> I'll let you know if I ever profit from streaming. <laughs> right now, we are at a uh, we are at a net zero uh, business model. Basically, everything that I've earned goes right back into um, investment back into the business. <laughs> yeah, kicks Twitch dirt. Twitch is good. I like Twitch. I'm amazing, guys. Only me. Just kidding. Damien is amazing. Rush, you're biased. I don't believe you. <laughs> All right, folks. Have a good night. Get yourself some sleep. Do some self-care. Go make yourself the happiest that you know how to make you. You know exactly what you need right now. Go go do that thing. Tell, tell yourself, I said it was okay for you to have that thing that really feeds into you. And I will catch you again in like four or five days. All right. Bye.